by this event. So. Hmm. Hmm. On the second day of travel, um, you guys come across a whaling ship. Uh, it is in the middle of fighting a whale. Uh, do oh, you uh, do you intervene? Do you pirate their asses? Do you watch? Do you just keep going? Uh, basically, whaling vessel. They're up up against a whale. The whale is smashing uh, uh, against their ship because fantasy whale don't fuck around. Um, <laughs> yeah, and they're like you know harpooning it, and they're running around. They're doing their business and all that jazz. Uh, they are vulnerable. And there's no one else around, so you guys could you guys could uh, have your way with them, uh, or whatever you decide to do. So I'll leave that to you guys. So second day of travel, uh, probably mid afternoon, um, you come across a whaling vessel in the middle of fighting a whale. I mean, we could go Greenpeace their asses. <laughs> well, they're. <laughs> They're hunting a whale, and then we beat them up because they hunt the whale. Otherwise, I would just, like, take Willie below and, I don't know, play fetch or something just to distract him. Oh, thing. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's so, going to be rough. so upsetting. I mean, he's mostly in a food coma today anyways <laughs> from all the fish he ate yesterday. Yeah. yeah. He just sort of, like, started hoovering up all of the dead fish. <laughs> Uh, uh, I guess this is actually a somewhat defining moment for us. Do we just go pirate on ships we encounter? Well, we could uh, aid them and then extort them. Yeah, I don't. No, 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 no. no. I, I mean, I don't, I'm sure I don't they wanna, have gold, gold, gold other whale. resources on board. Now, this is this is fantasy land, Sword Coast. Um. Whaling is not illegal. Um, obviously, there are groups that look down upon it, right? Like more, uh, more educated and enlightened people, um, druids of you know neutral or good alignment, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, because whales and dolphins, they're considered to be like goodly creatures who have like sentient intelligence, blah blah blah. But I mean, whale's delicious, and it's very useful for a lot of things. So, um, at the end of the day, capitalism, you know, wins out over uh, animal rights. Can you name three uses of a whale? Can I name three uses of a whale? Uh, yeah, yeah, whale oil, uh, whale meat, and uh, what's the last Willy. one? Willy. Oh, good, good, uh, scrimshaw from the, from the bones. Got big old, uh, big old fucking bones. It's a lot easier than going down to Chult and killing dinosaurs for big bones. <laughs> um, I mean, think about it. It's like a, it's like a cheeseburger that's c permanently packaged in like thick, salty fat. I mean, how could it not be delicious? I'm not trying to advocate eating whales. I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> I know, right? We'll take a trip to Japan. We'll have some whale burgers. I'm I'm thinking that uh, I Alvis is not of the opinion that the whaling ship would have riches enough to bother wasting yeah. our time on. Yeah, okay. I kind of kind of agree with that. All right. I mean, but how much could you sell a dead whale for? That whale will rot between the time we uh, go and deal with the lighthouse and we come back. Do we not have yeah. the tools to preserve it? Probably not. I don't think we have any druids in the group. Yeah, and I don't think we... I mean, we probably have salt on the ship, but I don't know if we have enough salt for, like, a whale's worth of meat. Yeah. To the lighthouse! Yeah, okay. let's go. Uh, Actually, do, you, do you guys do you guys stick do you guys stick around to see the outcome of this situation, or do you just no. uh, kind of wave as you go by, like you know, like two semi trucks on the highway, kind of, and just keep going? <laughs> it's like right yeah. when they're about to get the killing blow on the whale, Jenna polymorphs a whale into another whale, 
<laughs> with full HD. <laughs> Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> Wait, I just watch. I don't see any harm in watching. All right. Um, as you guys watch uh, this uh, whaling situation, a second whale uh, basically crests out of the water uh, beneath the whaling ship, uh, shattering it into two separate halves. Uh <laughs> All of the whalers um, die, and the whales uh, proceed to sort of uh, barrel roll and cause the water to churn up uh, and and drown them. This is a good oh, day shit. for nature. Yeah, and... golf clap. <laughs> I, I will golf clap. Um, after the ship has been destroyed, uh, the two whales uh, go back beneath the waves. All right, then, I, I mean... Check the wreckage for any left goods. How big was the ship? Was it All like? Alright, so a... you're gonna you're gonna stick around in angry whale territory to look for salvage. Got it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it's so not like we're attacking the whales. Sure, sure, sure. So you guys, um, you guys start searching the water for salvage, and uh, ultimately, to keep it to keep it kind of like, um, vague. Because I'm trying to move away from these uh, these Skyrim esque uh, grocery list of things that you guys find. Um, yeah. Overall, as you as you search the water, how how much time are you willing to spend um, looking through the salvage? I mean, probably not more than like an hour. Okay. Okay. Uh, an in an, in an hour of time, uh, you guys are able to recover about 300 gold worth of useful ship supplies so the the easiest way to do that is to just say you have a three you found 300 gold to add to your treasury um which can be used essentially for crew and ship operating costs blah blah blah. money is money kind of thing um etc etc so but essentially, you know, like floating barrels of supplies, um, bodies that didn't sink that might have had um, some personal wealth on them. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's an ordeal. The whole crew gets involved of like uh, throwing grapples down and pulling bodies into the uh, into the ship. Uh, none of your crew is brave enough to suggest let's get in the jolly boat and, and sail around. So uh, unless you order them down. Uh, a lot of this is done from a distance sort of thing. Yeah. Fine with, I think that's yeah. fine with it. Okay. Uh, all right, cool. So, on your third day of travel, um, as you are making your way towards this, uh, this mysterious lighthouse, uh, let's see, is anything interesting happen on the third day? Uh, there is an argument uh amongst the crew um apparently someone was caught cheating at dragon's ante and uh they uh the 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 people they're playing with definitely want justice for uh for what has happened who was the one that was caught cheating uh, unfortunately, uh, the one caught cheating was none other, uh, than your, uh, your cook, uh, Dart Swindler Lewis. Who would have thought? <laughs> uh, the individuals that he has robbed, uh, are his best friend, uh, Raul Scurvy Ramsey. Uh, this bad bitch right here, uh, Granger. And easy, uh, easy Jaffers. So you guys arrive on the scene. An officer arrives on the scene pretty much as they have him um, pinned uh, to, the, to the, the deck. And they are getting ready to cut off one of his ears. I mean... I would say we just comp confiscate the gaming set and all the winnings... And uh, tell them, like, give them a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
What the we, fuck is that? Yeah, def <laughs> definitely different views. Actually, I, I think the best way we're going to do this is I'm going to roll a d6, <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to determine which officer was on the scene. Oh. Um, yeah, or captain. <laughs> uh, yes. I, got, I got a three, so counting from the left. Okay, well, yeah, it is Afro. So Afro, oh, <laughs> do you take away their toys and put them in timeout? I do. All right, so you put them all in the brig together, or do you do you separate them? Like, I, what is I, time? What is timeout by Afro standards? Because um, Serge has some suggestions on what you could do. <laughs> I bet he does. Um, I, I would inform them uh, that uh, we like food, so you can't kill the cook. That's I'm sorry, but you just can't. Um, yes, we so can. we could eat him afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I I I liked those fish. I thought he did a pretty good job. So uh, he's gonna get a pass, but I'm gonna keep all your winning. So maybe next time you guys can learn to play nice together, and then uh, they can. I'd I'd like assign them all to like the worst duties on opposite oh, ends of the, the That ship. would be cleaning the bilge would be yeah. the worst mm -hmm. duties. Yep. All right. Uh, so, do you also send your cook down into the bilge with the people that want to cut his ear off, or do you find something bad for him to do? I, I would find something equally bad for him to do. Okay. Other, Maybe, than, like... other than hanging him off the side of the ship uh, by a rope to clean off barnacles, to scrape barnacles, there's nothing worse on a ship than cleaning the bilge. Yeah, we he can clean barnacles. I think that's fine. Okay. All right. I will. Uh, I will notate uh, how the three of them feel about how this was handled. So, uh, as an inquisitive rogue, I guess I'm contractually ob obligated to tell you that they think your ruling was bullshit, uh, and that you are playing favorites. Uh, and that they have been robbed twice. Once by Dart, and once by you. Alright. I mean, I'm a first mate. It's like my job to rob I, them. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. It doesn't change their feelings. I mean, well, you can write... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. The, so, the, the captain gives with one hand, and the first mate takes with the other. <laughs> yeah, Jenna is generous, but Afra will take your toys and put you in timeout. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm -mm -mm. All right, if that is the case, um, that evening you should arrive uh, at the island that contains the lighthouse. The rocks around the lighthouse are quite treacherous and close together. It will be pretty much impossible to sail your ship right up to the island. Uh, so you could basically dock, or not dock, but you could drop anchor if you were so inclined. Uh, and then you could um, take your jolly boat in. Unless you have some other means that you would like to use. Thunderstep. Okay. No, no, Bold, no, no. Boldly announce your presence to everyone involved. I like it. I like it. Hey, Crash, real quick. Um, what I've spent uh, three days... Well, can I add another three days to learning Aquan? For sure. Yep. Record it on your sheet. Ooh. Alvis can help teach you. Oh, that would be a nice uh, friendship building activity. Right. Gator will accept. All right. That sounds like punishment, to be honest. <laughs> it does! Indeed. It's only I mean, punishment I if we do it in all this is I don't want to look at that pain. <laughs> I mean, Alvis is a very charismatic uh, fellow. People would probably enjoy having him as a teacher. He's not extremely knowledgeable about things. Don't ask I'm him just to learning a history language. or anything. <laughs> It's not your charisma that I'm concerned about. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna activate probably two groovies, so just kinda keep out, uh, keep a listen for them in case they're too loud. 
and you're suddenly like, why does it sound like the ocean is destroying my house? Or something like that. So. Right. Got it. There we go. So get some waves going. Crashy waves, maybe. Calm and relaxing. And let me clear out this, this shanty-ish music. All right. So, uh, let me get your minis moved over to this map. And I'll get you in a jolly boat and all that good stuff. Where, where is your jolly boat now? Hmm, I thought it was hanging out on this map. All right, it's fine. I'll grab it from um, the other map. This one while, is named while I do that, this is a good chance for you guys to uh, last minute, I guess, uh, prep your your brains for what's what comes next, or you know, strategy, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. Some people are into that. I mean, I was thinking we just like walk in and see what attacks us and go from there. <laughs> it's bold. By all means, lead the way. Lead the way, please. <laughs> yeah. That. It's bold and spicy. Okay. I think we should uh, have our uh, shadowed friend keep uh, keep a distance. And uh, I guess we'll have to assess uh, whether we are entering from the inside or from the outside. So as the lighthouse. Hmm. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. I like think of that. Could uh, have Wally fly over it and probably get an aerial view. Oh, I, I already have that map planned for you. Ha ha. Uh, let's see. We gotta put this down first. There we go. It, uh, it won't be comfortable, but I could always make an entrance if you want. Cause I got stone shape now. Nice. Just open up a hole and just crawl on through. Oh, Willow, you're taking all the fun out. I was going to do Spanish Kool Aid. Spanish Kool Aid. <laughs> uh, I love it. I mean, we, we, we do want the lighthouse to remain functional. After so so just limit the structural damage we're discussing <laughs> doing. <laughs> do it once. Let's try to remember which Willow Umbernox is the real Willow. Let me double check. The one with the uh, forward slash. Uh, okay. Can I delete That's... the other one, or do you want to keep it for nostalgia? Yeah, you can, del you can delete the other one now because I transferred everything over. Okay. Yeah. And we've used the nicer. Okay. Nice. All hmm. right. Uh, cameraman will come with you. Garuda. And now I can get rid of the slash. There we go. Pietro. Jenna. Is Willie coming on this fun adventure? Or is he going to stay on the ship and guard the rest of the fish? Um, I'm I'm going to say he's going to stay on the ship. I don't think he'd be particularly useful in this. I'm going to be oh, honest. God. We bought him and we never use him. Hey, <laughs> I yeah. used him to catch the guy. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's true. And he was in teg uh, integral, integral, one of those words, uh, in uh, in helping you guys um, capture the ship that you currently sail in. I'd say that was right there was worth the 500 gold. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. He he's earned the right to sit in our bilge and eat to eat fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move you over to the map. Rule 20. If you see the whole thing, blah, 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 please, you know, refresh your browser, blah, blah, blah. Spoilers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Crash, I can't believe you'll do that to us. Do what? I'm just joking. I don't see oh. anything. Oh, you don't see anything? Oh, there, there we are. I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling the map to see where, which corner or top whatever. Top right. Top, top right. Uh... Yeah. Do, do, do over there we go top right it is all right so um yeah you guys are on a map right here it's not a very big place uh this island uh but you do because you have two flying familiars and a flying guy um i i was like they're obviously going to know the general layout of the island so this is your as we approach map All right, so you do see that there is a dock right there, and there is a uh, 
gated entryway right here. Nice sturdy stone wall. Uh, this thing right here is the actual lighthouse tower itself. And those are the buildings where the lighthouse keepers uh, would live. The currents in this area are insane. Um, they are definitely living up to what uh, what you heard in town. Uh, you guys did dock the ship, uh, not dock the ship, park the ship uh, a ways out from the island uh, because the closer you got to it, the worse and more unpredictable those currents became. But those of you who are trained in navigation tools or uh, water vehicles, um, you realize that, yeah, um, geographically, this is a very clutch location for a lighthouse, especially given the unpredictable um, currents in the area. Hmm. Huh. Do we want to bring the uh, the jolly boat all the way onto the shore, or do we feel it will be safe uh, lashed to the uh, uh, to the dock? I, mean, I could uh, I I could shape water to freeze uh, the water that only, around. Wouldn't that only last an hour? Who knows how long we're gonna be in there? True. Probably just tied to the dock. Yeah. How heavy is it? We could also pull it up onto the dock if we're worried. Oh, about I mean, current. you got some. You got, you know, a beefy girl and a beefy boy, uh, mm -hmm. so they could easily um, drag this thing onto the onto the rocky shore if you'd prefer. Yeah, I could, I could do that. Well, we could do that. I do would we feel more comfortable prefer? if we did, it, did that and got it above the tide line. It is at all possible. Yeah. Oh, I've got a spooky photograph I'm supposed to show you of the of the lighthouse. Hold on a sec. Hold up, I need to speak to you all real quick. Also, we are apparently exploring this place at night like good horror movie characters. Yeah. Uh huh? Uh, uh, uh. Another way to uh, explore a spooky lighthouse. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, not an exact, uh, you know, replica, but, uh, you know, uh, feeling-wise, that photograph I felt really captured, you know, the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. like like Ooh. Place, so... yeah. All right. Well, the, bu the buildings are made of stone. Um, the roof tiles uh, are made of, I guess, clay or uh, some similar substance. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's a sturdy, it's a sturdy structure. It is definitely uh, resisted the pounding waves uh, and um, howling winds of this uh, this region. It looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> Awfully nice. Did, wait, this looks awful. Yeah, all right. I guess it does. Yeah. Oh, Captain, just uh, think of the possibilities. Once we have cleared out whatever is uh, haunting this place, we do a little landscaping. It'll look, it look very nice. Get the pressure washer out. <laughs> Some rose bushes out front. Very inviting. Very haunting. You say so. I mean, it could be uh, if you quote-unquote, took care of it. But... Do we want to clear uh, building by building? Do we want to... I yeah. have uh, tools to go up to the top of the, uh, the the lighthouse so we can climb up, go down. Sort Let's of... split up, gang. It is a terrible idea. Absolutely. Oh, I love the quality, though. It's my favorite thing to do. Now the question I, I, is, would Jenna be the only one to survive, or would Afra? I mean, I'm pretty sure Alvis would be the one to survive. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know who the fatalist person is in our group. 
All right, so yeah, I'm gonna put you. Coming after Garuda. I'm gonna put you on the active map, so you're gonna be on two maps at once. Um, but we're gonna use the active map, but you can reference the overhead map because you know familiars and stuff. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Okay, oh. so I see myself, but I don't see anything else. Oh right, because it's which, like night nighttime. Which one is the active map, left or right? Uh, left left hand map is the active map. Okay. There we go. Okay. So okay. I keep forgetting that there's people that can't see in the dark still. So. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, because we didn't get our goggles left. Mm -hmm. Or didn't didn't we wait downtime wise to get the yeah, goggles? We waited I'd... two days before leaving. I just thought we handled the downtime. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you waited for the goggles, then uh, let me set you up with some dark vision there, Afro. Hold on. Yeah, because that's that's how I'm at five days of learning Aqua. <laughs> Cause we All used... right. Yeah, who, yeah, uh, yeah. Who else needed uh, goggles so I can add dark vision? Well, I mean, you guys ordered, I believe, two Yeah, we got pairs. one. Afro and Garuda. Okay, yeah. Afra and Garuda. Okay. Yeah, so they now have dark vision. All right. I had Genosis. Um, Whoa, Genosis. you already had it, right? You, you already so. had your goggles. All right. All right. And I'm um, actually registering these to your character sheets. So when we drag out in the future, you'll have them. Cool. All right, so everybody's looking like SEAL Team 6 with their night vision goggles <laughs> as you approach the island. Uh, should I move you guys closer? Or do you kind of want to just hang out in these rough-ass uh, waves, kind of checking let's the place out? Yeah, yeah, no, let's, let's, let's go ahead and dock. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not all of us can fly. All righty. As you guys uh, dock... The gates uh, open up. Ominous. Well, that's not creepy at all. That's convenient. <laughs> of course it does. It wants to steal our soul. <laughs> Alright, so a couple of things Alvis, who brazenly uh, went ahead. <laughs> there is a door uh, right there and right there. Uh, there is a window over here. You can see uh, you can see a little bit of light peeking out from under the doors and through um, the cracks and the shutters of the windows. There is a staircase here that winds up for uh, about 10 feet or so, uh, which then leads to the door to the lighthouse. Okay. Uh, uh, the walls uh, themselves are 25 feet high, these stone walls that you just passed through. Well, I mean, the the uh, very clear social norm the thing to do is to walk on up and knock on the door. Mm. All right. Yeah, so I'll, I'll follow closely, I'll, since all of us is prone to... Uh... Excite situations, shall we say? I want to. I want to <laughs> peek in the window while he knocks. Okay. He's gonna always try to be surrounded by everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> what a good place for a fireball. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you peek through uh, the window there, Afra. Can you mm -hmm. peek through with it like that? I can. Yes, okay. I can. Um. So, Alvis, as you approach. Uh, and you raise your hand to knock, uh, the door just swings open. Hmm. Invitingly. Uh, there is a lovely sitting room with a crackling fire, uh, extra wood in the corner so, you know, you, you can stay warm. Uh, lovely leather chairs so that you could sit by the, the fire and read a book and drink, uh, you know, sweet brandy. Uh, there's even food and drink laid out at the table. I will use my new um, 
uh, pendant or medallion, and I will cast detect magic before I step uh, in. Everything is magical. <laughs> Illusion school. Illusion. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Alvis is just gonna turn behind him, and he's just gonna like look at everybody and be like, "An illusion." Beneath the illusion, yeah. um, you can kind of see it sort of overlaying a bit. Uh, is because um, you had reason, I believe, to disbelieve this in the first place. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you can kind of see that everything is not okay. Everything is very decrepit, very rotten, very worn out. Hmm. Um, and it's just the singular... And the up. fire is... It is conjuration magic, the fire. Okay. Oh, now, so there, the is fi door, fire there is a door... There is a door to your left and a larger double door uh, over here to the right. Okay. As you oh, enter, you do begin to hear whispering. Hmm. I was, did you point out that it was an illusion? Yes, yeah. He, he would have turned to everyone and said, uh, this is all an illusion. And he'll step... He'll, Alvis will step fully into the room to give room for other people to come in and just kind of wait to see uh, what the group thinks, which door we should go through. Before, if we want to continue. Um, before I go in, how, how many, like, windows are there in the lighthouse? Like, vertically, I guess? How many windows on the lighthouse? Yeah, like... Are you talking about up. the big structure over here? Yep. At the very top, there are windows. But on the tower itself, there are none. Uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, is there anyone, like, looking down on us uh, upon um, the top of the lighthouse? Uh, give me a perception check. We'll do. I thought about doing that, but I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that yes. You, will be the first to die. You, see, uh, you see a number of spectral children um, peering down at you. Their tiny hands and uh, noses pressed against uh, the dirty glass of the uh, main light chamber of the of the lighthouse as they kind of peer down at you. Uh, who's the nearest person to me, Afro? All right, cool. Yeah. I'll give you a poke. Oh. So I don't know if you noticed. I did not notice. Thank you. <laughs> that's that's Creepy. awesome. <laughs> so excited. Creepy AF. I'd like to uh, I'd like to search the uh, the sitting room here to see if there's any uh, notebooks or journals that <laughs> might uh, be uh, pre records of the previous tenants. Uh, sure. You're gonna search this room. Yes. Oh, come on. Um, <laughs> as you guys oh, enter this room, uh, you can hear the sound of two people ravenously eating. It sounds like they're eating barbecue or uh ribs or something uh something very fleshy and very messy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. ribs you say in the in the house of historical panel barbecued pork quote unquote <laughs> the other yeah one. <laughs> do we have weapons out do you know I do I have, uh, I have, a, I have, a, I have one of my rapiers scimitar Willow, are you interested in uh, casting Warning Bond now, or do you want to wait until shit actually goes down? Uh, what's the duration of Warding Bond again? An hour. Um, you know what? Hmm. Maybe I will cast now, so I don't have to, like, <laughs> spend combat buffing for it to fucking end by the time I get in. Um, all right. All right. Warding Bond. Okay. There are three uh, paintings on the wall in here as well. Um, do you look upon them? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, are they the real paintings or, or uh, illusion paintings? Uh, they're they are very real. Um, and Well, creepy. I would like to assess them for artistic value. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
They're all um, copies. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that is the first one there. Oh, uh, oh. Huh. I'm getting some real Cthulhu vibes now. I mean, we've been hearing a lot about She Who Hungers in the Deep. Yeah. Ah, oh, that is creepy as hell. You need a hand? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Would you be on be upset if I threw these into a fire? <laughs> Let us not anger what lives here at the moment. Uh, sure. Afra, to, to the right collector, um, especially if you explain the circumstances of these paintings, uh, <laughs> they could probably get a hundred gold or more per painting. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not too well, there's a there's a lot of edge lords in fifth edition. So, yeah. yeah. Oh man, yeah. let's go find Dreads. Well, gonna... Whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, there is a, another uh, window over here. To the wall as well. Mm. Uh, yeah, you want to look out this back window? Okay. Do you open? You just open those shutters wide. Oh no! They got a shutter against the howling winds and the crashing waves. Yeah, I'll peek out. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check, Garuda. Perceptive bird. Nice. Twenty-four. Yeah, you see, uh, three. I, it's, I'm, I'm struggling to find a way to describe them. Uh, you see three medium-sized creatures, uh, essentially pale, milky white um, lampreys, human-sized, with uh, beady red eyes and large, gaping lamprey-like mouths. They have... They have a lamprey is like, um, gosh, uh, let's see. It's like a creature-sized leech. Yeah. I think. Oh, uh, here, I'll, I'll see if the picture will oh, post. Oh, fuck me, why did I Google that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll regret that. <laughs> what was it? How would you spell it? Like, there you go. Lamprey is L-A-M-P-R-E-Y. So you see three creatures, oh, um, yeah, that look like humanoid lampreys. Um, they are swimming. And they are intently watching the lighthouse. Fuck those teeth in Norway. As you look, as you look and see them, uh, you feel like they are looking back at you with those beady red eyes. One of them starts to turn its mouth inside out in your general direction, fanning uh, its dozens of rows of spiraling serrated teeth. How far are they hmm. from the window? One by one, they start dipping down into the water. Uh, how far? Uh, they're about, I don't know, 80 feet out. I can shoot that. All right, do you want to do you want to just instinctively <laughs> pull a gun, and take a shot at one? Alvis, there's nothing there. Uh, so I like, yeah, I'm kind of peering. I like even at one point, I do that thing where like I take my hand and cover my my uh, empty socket as if that helps <laughs> me focus my one eye. <laughs> and it's like, huh. I look at Garuda and I'm like, there's there's nothing there. No, it, there was there. It was leeches or stuff. They, they had mouths. They went and they were looking at me. They had red eyes. They, they were there, Alvis. Alvis is gonna uh, he's gonna put like a reassuring hand on, and say that uh, like I believe that they were, and if they come back, we will certainly destroy them, my friend. Okay, next time. I'll shoot it first. And ask a question later. <laughs> And then Alvis suddenly goes into a, a strange trance where uh, it, it's almost as though the, the, the player that is controlling him has to step away for a minute or two oh, to okay. go pick up breakfast. <laughs> I'll be right he back. Is, 
you see Alvis's uh, mouth unhinge and his mouth opens wide and 1996 modem noises start coming out. So, <laughs> as is his way uh, when breakfast is on the line. Pietro will go up to uh, Garud and say, have you, uh, what, um, oh dear God, did you uh, load your, uh, your weapons with silver shot or are you using regular rounds? Good, very good. And uh, I'm gonna check that room for to see if there's any. Afra, any since your arrival on this island, Surge, Surge has been very happy. happy I am. Boy. I'm happy. He's happy. Okay. Uh, you can feel it thrumming with energy and excitement. Uh, yeah. So in the room. I mean, investigate, you obviously don't find nothing secret, but you do see that there is uh, a chest or foot locker, uh, wood for the fire, two chairs uh, by the fire, three chairs by the table, you know, the kind of stuff you see on the map. Um, in the fireplace, uh, you see that the fire is not being fed by logs, uh, but instead by small and uh, tiny humanoid bones. Awesome. Um, I'm going to uh, to poke poke that uh, footlocker with uh, one of, one of my rapiers to see if it is possibly a mimic. Okay. Uh, it does. You do not stick to it, and it does not attack you. Okay. I will uh, check to see if it. Is, it does, uh, however. Um, after you poke it, it does kind of lurch. Uh, to the left, about an inch, with a thump. We should uh, just burn this place to the ground and rebuild it. Uh... <laughs> uh, Pietro, you hear a scratching sound coming from inside the chest. I'm going to uh, try and get uh, Willow's and uh, Guru's attention and point out to the chest. Mm -hmm put a finger to my lips and I'm going to um, put away uh, put away my uh, weapons draw well no I have my scimitar ready and then I'm going to flip open the top of the of the uh, the chest okay, okay. What's in there? Um, as you flip open the lid of the chest uh, you see that it is full of blood and meat. Nice. Okay, I was not uh, particularly hungry before. I think I've lost my appetite. <laughs> <laughs> I will close the chest. As you go to close the chest, uh, a hand and forearm, uh, devoid of skin, glistening with blood, uh, rises up and pushes the lid open. Uh, it rolls itself into initiative. Oh, I was gonna say, can, Great. <laughs> can we just so let it shut the No! Don't worry, I'll fireball all of us myself. <laughs> Alright, so let me <laughs> make sure the initiative tracker is clear. Yeah. Alvis is Alvis is clearly not paying attention. As he uh as the modem sound stops, he's just like, eh? <laughs> Fair, fair. Um Alright. Uh, let's see. Let me grab some different music real quick. We'll do uh I'm not gonna waste my goddamn spells on this. Me. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna do this level more on it. I'm gonna be too bad. That's some pretty epic music for us to kill, uh, Cousin Thing or whatever. 
<laughs> you should have uh, played like the uh, instrumental version of the Adams Family. <laughs> Would that make it better? Was that? I mean, <laughs> this <laughs> this music feels like you know, like epic battle against like uh, truly evil foe. Whereas I feel like this is going to be something where Pietro grabs like a uh, a rolling pin and beats beats <laughs> thing to death. <laughs> uh, let's start things off with like, like Garth and the robot in Wayne's World. Uh, Willow, you're up first. Nice. So, big sp spooky fucking m meaty hand. Um, I'm gonna guess it's like right here. Uh, it is the chest itself, so Pietro, right yeah. Oh, it's a chest, alright. Cool. Yeah, well, it's I inside, yeah, it's inside the chest. The chest is basically filled with, uh, remains and just, uh, Almost filled to the brim with blood. Uh, I see. Well, I could hit it with a thunderous smite, but that's loud. Hmm. And I mean, I'm they right know we're here. <laughs> yeah, they do know we're here, though. I mean, thunderous smite isn't a thunder wave. Okay. Um, yeah, fuck it. I'll, uh, I'll cast thunderous smite. And do I make an attack? What is it? Bonus action? Yeah, bonus action thunderous smite. And then I'm going to whack it. Okay. Uh, where's my longsword at? Uh, is that two-handed? No, I need one-handed. Uh, normal roll. Wow. Hey, at least it's the first time I hit, so I still have the spell going. Uh, alright. Yeah, as you swing on it with a nine, um, because of the chest and your ally and all that, uh, it does not hit. Yeah, a bit awkward. Well, uh, Shit. What I can do though is, uh, no wait, you're not using flanking in this, are we? No, I'm such a such a fool. All right, uh, that's the end of my card. Go, I guess. <laughs> All righty, that brings I... us to Garuda. Okay. All right, so you take a shot, and yeah, pistol jams up. Alright, a 20 is definitely a hit. There is an explosion of flesh and blood as the creature takes the damage. Okay. Alright, uh, Jenna, you're up. I'll, uh, fire a bolt at the blood. Yeah, another solid hit. Uh, it takes 11 points of fire damage. Uh, actually, uh, it seems to take less damage than you would have expected from the fire. Kind of like sizzles out in the blood. Yeah, exactly. Wow, fire, and you're so fire bloody doesn't that seem very resistant. effective. <laughs> All right, anything else from Jenna? Nope. Okay. Uh, Jenna, as your turn ends, uh, you see that one of the small uh, skulls in the fire uh, rolls over. Uh, it continues to burn and it starts to float in the air. So fun. Yeah. It's slowly making its way over to the fireplace. There we go. All right. So it kind of has that, you know, Ghost Rider kind of feel going. Um, as it appears, uh, it sort of looks around the room curiously at uh, everything that is there. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it'll just start, it'll start big, big or go home. Um, you see the skull.
skull begin to uh, vibrate and grow brighter and brighter and brighter. And then there is a detonation is it uh, of, of fire. Can you counterspell it? Uh, yeah, you want yeah, to counterspell it? Counterspell. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I do. All right, as it goes to cast a fireball on you, you counterspell it. The skull sort of uh, like sizzles out and drops uh, to the floor, kind of shakes itself off and then starts to float again and reignites. Kill that thing immediately. All right, Afra, you're up. Yeah. Um, I am gonna cast uh, Shadow Blade as a bonus action. Are we? I guess we're probably not in darkness because that thing is glowing. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. There should okay. be light in the room. Well, yeah. yeah, no, it's I. I get advantage if we're in dim light. Oh, gotcha. No, no, this it. this thing definitely for uh, sheds light. Yep. Okay. And I have an ally within five feet, so I get sneak attack. Turn that on, and I'm gonna stab it. Okay. Damn it. All right. Yeah. As you go to swing on the floating skull, it just kind of weaves and dips uh, out of the way. All right. All right, Pietro. Uh, unless Afro, unless you have anything else you'd like to do on your turn. No, right. nope. I have my okay. action bonus action. Well, actually, nah, I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. Uh, Pietro, you're up. I will draw my uh, rapier back out that I had uh, put away, and um, I'm going to um, stab at the, uh, the hand chest here in front of me uh, once. Twice. Three times. All right. Uh, all three of those attacks hit. Uh, you drop a tremendous amount of damage on the creature. Uh, it is uh, piercing damage. So. Uh, piercing, uh, slashing, piercing. Okay, piercing, slashing, piercing. Got it. The slashing damage does not bother it nearly so much as the piercing damage. Uh, but you do drop quite a bit of damage onto the creature. Okay. I... And, uh, can I, like, back a... Can I do that so we can see the target? Actually, uh, yeah, I'm sure. Gonna... Actually, I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna stay put. I'm gonna stay put. Gonna stay put. Okay. Uh, alright. Wally, you're up. Well, he's just going to take a dodge action. All right. Taking a dodge action. Stay on Jenna's head. All right. Uh, the blob of, uh, of oozing flesh and blood uh, suddenly uh, erupts almost like a geyser. And so much more um, than should have fit in the chest suddenly floods into the room. Uh, as it does, it fills uh, almost a 10 foot by 10 foot space. Uh, my two beautiful half orc babies, uh, you are going full carry. You are covered from head to toe uh, in blood, most of which you're pretty sure is badly coagulating. Nice. So it kind of has like a strawberry jam feeling as this thing comes erupting out of the chest. Hmm. All right. Uh, oh my God! It's a Bordicon. <laughs> uh, as it does, it is going to attack uh, Pietro. All right. So let's see if it manages to hit. Oh, a fumble! All right. Let's see what happens. This is a natural attack. Uh, let's see. If this attack was made with a claw. Well, technically no, because it's a pseudopod. Alright. Uh, 
Yeah, so the creature um, misses, and it just sort of pulsates. There are um, sad, pained sounds coming from the mouths that float about its mass. Hmm. All right, Alvis, you're up. All right, I'm going to... Uh... <clears throat> I'm going to spend a one sorcery point. No, two sorcery points, sorry. Um, I think if I do it, hold on. Sorry. It was quick and spell. Uh, I think it's, if I'm quickening a cantrip. No, it's two, two no matter what. Okay. Two sorcery points. I'm going to quicken a bless, which I will cast at uh, level two. Okay. And so I will be blessing Afra, um, Garuda, uh, Willow, and Piecho. And Aww, uh, everybody but Jenna, that's cute. Well, and me. <laughs> and you. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> oh no. That's fair. And, and, and I'm about to make an attack roll thing. Jenna usually uses saving. We discussed. Uh, uh, yeah. the, the the blessing right. uh, strategy. Go 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 go. Okay, go. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I'm going to uh, uh, shocking grasp um, the skull. Nice. Does an 18. 18 hits. So I do eight lightning damage to it. All right. The creature does not take as much lightning damage as you had hoped. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I like reach out and like legit just like like try and grasp the skull in my hand and just like channel electricity into its face. Alright, fair enough. That brings us to Willow. Totally forgot I can make bonus action attacks. Anyways, um... <laughs> so, uh, you're faithful. I'm gonna try and hit it again. Okay. Because, uh, this thing... Mm. Hey. And then my smite goes off. Because it's first hit. All right. As you hit the creature, now that it is fully formed, uh, it is going to use its reaction uh, to overflow. So I need you to make a constitution saving throw as it basically uh, counterattacks against you with its with its body. So give me a const uh, constitution save. Interesting. And I get a default to that, right? Might be um... Oh, with bless? Yeah. I think I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You, yep. You, you, yep. Standard four to six. Fifteen. All right, fifteen. Uh, that is enough to pass. So you will only take half uh the listed damage. Uh, which I could post up real quick. Mm. Here we go. All right. So, uh, you take. Oh four points of necrotic damage, and the creature gains two points of temp HP. Interesting. Alright, let me show that out. Um, let's bring down to 69. Hey! God damn it. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, uh, and, uh, I will, um, what's it? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna bonus... Oh, and the damage it. from your, uh, Oh. Slashing, it uh, seems resistant to that, but it even does take magical? the full amount of, uh, even if it's magical, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, it does take uh, the full thunder damage. I need it to make a strength saving throw, too. Okay. Uh, it fails. Uh, this is an interesting predicament. It gets pushed 10 feet back and it's not prone. Okay, um, it is, uh, by its nature, immune to prone, uh, so it'll just sort of splosh against the walls, uh, going like full liquid. It'll rise up to the ceiling and then just sort of rain back down on you guys. I'm gonna hit it again. Alright. <laughs> Fucking spooky-ass monster thing. Uh, that is also a hit. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah it is, uh... Quite literally bloodied at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Extra blood. Uh, well, uh, there we go. <laughs> this is the end of my go. Alright. Uh, Garuda, you're up. Is there like blood on the floor, I'm guessing? Is the floor covered in blood? 
at this point, after uh, this thing exploded out of the thing and, and Willow uh, kind of thunderously hit it and blood probably splattered uh, places, yeah? All right, what are you shooting at? The big blob or the skull? Okay. There you go. Mm. Is it dead? I mean, you shot it for sure. Uh, yeah, it takes it takes 23 points of damage. This is such a horror movie like trope too. You like you boom boom boom. Pauses. <laughs> is it dead? Uh-huh. Uh, that is also going to hit. It takes uh, 17 more damage. Okay. Oof. Uh, and with that, uh, the creature quivers screams from its many mouths and explodes. Blood goes everywhere. <laughs> now to murder the skull. Alright, Jenna, you're up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have the frostbite on the skull, trying okay. to out of the planet. All right. Uh, let's see. It does not work. Said kill it. Um, and Jenna's gonna walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> true leadership true leadership <laughs> as you walk outside uh you uh you do see um up in the lighthouse looking down at you uh three small human children uh they are very spectral and they are watching with their uh sort of whited out uh eyes uh as you walk out into the thing one of them removes its hand from the glass and slowly waves at you. I'll wave back. Okay. Alrighty. That brings us to uh, the skull. Uh, let's see. What should the skull do? Man. Uh, Head by all this. Yeah, that's true. It could headbutt. That'd be a terrible thing to do, though. Um, it's a ranged attacker, so it definitely doesn't want to do ranged attacks while it's in melee. So, it is going to fire off uh, some magic missiles uh, directly into Alvis' face. Uh, so, here we go. Oh, oh I'm, I'm going to cast shield. I'm definitely going to cast shield. <laughs> All right, so you cast shield. <laughs> yeah. And absorb the magic missiles as they go off. All right, the creature's and fire kind of flashes, uh, seeing your shield spell, and uh, it will continue to drift there, uh, looking about the room. Afra, you're up. I'm gonna stab with Surge this time. Okay. Uh, as you stab at it, the creature will use its reaction uh, to cast shield. God. Don't forget your D4 blast. Oh, well, it doesn't matter if it... Well, okay. I guess it might. I'll go ahead and do it. You never know. Two. Uh, that does not help. Okay. You see a shimmering orange uh, field of magic appear around the creature as Surge uh, stabs into it, and there is a of uh, water from Surge as it hits the shield. And steam rises up. I say, come on, man. We can do this. All right. 
Oh, I should have used my child skull miniature because they're so much spookier. Oh my god, you have one? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, where's my child's? Oh yeah. Here you go. So. Uh, uh, oh. Isn't that great? Because like you're born with like all your adult teeth and your baby teeth like a fucking shark. And yeah. so the first set pops out and the second set just rests inside your face. Spooky. Wait waiting for its time. Yeah. So there you go. Ugh. All right. Um Pietro, you're up. It's a skull. It um, is. Did silver those? Can I swap out um, my rapier and my uh, and my scimitar for my twin warhammers, or is that gonna mess with my action? Um, your item interaction, you get to uh, you get to draw one item. Um, okay. do you, doesn't Pietro have the dual wielding feet? Yeah, I can't you just do? Do you have dual wielding? I do. Okay. That was my starter feet. That lets you draw or stow two weapons as a... Yeah, there you All go. Right. Okay, in that case, I'm going to, at the risk of it not taking the full magic damage, but we'll see what happens. Experimentation time, I'm going to um, stow my current weapons, draw up my, uh, my Warhammers, and I'm going to hit it three times. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that is a hit. Uh, that 11 plus 1 is not a hit. Bless, bless. He has it on. Nope. He has it on. It's, it's there. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh. How Global do you do modifier. That? Yeah, it's uh, it's the gear. You just adjust your, your modifiers. Um, let's see. Gonna... Yeah, on your sheet, guys, there's a global modifier, I believe, for bless, because it's the most popular one that you can just check check the thing and it'll do it mm -hmm. or and it I'm should be turned on i don't know it can be turned a... on you have to turn yeah. global modifiers on and then yeah, it'll yeah. show i'm gonna expend a superiority die uh, see okay if I can force that through yeah that should hit it. uh that does with an extra seven yeah so both right. of those and hit then, and then one more time hmm <laughs> All right. Uh, in the end, it takes 18 plus 7, 12, 18 plus 7, 25 points of damage. Yeah. Uh, you see cracks forming in the skull uh, from the heavy beating it just took. All right. Anything else? Uh, that's all I got. Okay. Uh, Wally, you're up. Wally's well, gonna fly up to the little children and uh, see if they're nice. Oh, damn. Okay. Let me roll them into initiative. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> I think we have an answer. No, he wants to. He just wants to roll a hug action, is all. Oh, right. <laughs> hug action. Uh, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Well, uh, we we're probably going to encounter him eventually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So go you go to, to the gear uh, yeah, on the your gear. character sheet. And then it's the uh, box on the far right hand side. It says show um global save global attack yeah and bless is gonna be a global attack on fire yeah it's also global save if you click on the global attack and then go back oh. to your core you'll see underneath your attacks you'll have a a bless Mm -hmm. 
Yep, if you have the box checked. So when when bless is like not a not in effect, you can that box and it won't. Right. Yeah, you can just toggle it on and off, which is cool. All right. So there's uh the spooky kids. Ah. I'm happy I'm not gonna sleep in this house. Honestly. Yeah, this must be a lot spookier for the night crew. <laughs> what do you mean? Like the people back on the ship that are just no, hanging no, out? No, 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 like no, the no, night no. the night game. The oh, yeah. Game. Salt Marsh Moon. Like for us, I, this is just a pleasant Sunday morning. with. I will <laughs> say, yeah, I will say that in the sunken caverns slash um, sunken temple or whatever, they were definitely way more spooked out than you guys were. So... Uh, all right, so those uh, those are rolled into initiative. Um, as you approach uh, Wally, the children sort of turn to look at you, and one by one, their faces split into overly wide, toothy smiles. Hmm. All right. And how brings... far away is the... Oh, the would, top would of the lighthouse? Be... Gosh, yeah. like 80 feet up. Okay, okay, so Wally had to dash up there, too. Yeah. Uh, alright. Uh, the ooze is dead. Sorry, little baby. You're so, you're so cool, but you just didn't have a chance to shine. Uh, <laughs> Spooky Ghost <laughs> uh, is going to come through uh, the glass and move towards Wally. Because spirit uh, and spirit, I guess. And uh, what is this kid going to do to Sweet Wallace? Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it will uh, just try to touch Wally. So it's going to use Withering Touch on him. Hmm. My hits and. Uh... Successfully uh, gets rid of him. All right. Uh, so as it grabs, uh, grabs a hold of him to love him and squeeze him and pet him forever and ever and ever. <laughs> uh, he lets out a squawk of panic, and you watch Jenna as he just shrivels uh, and ages and dies. And then the ashes and dust sort of turn into magic motes of light, and he returns. Uh, whence he came. Rude. All right. Uh, Alvis, you're up. All right. <laughs> Ruda, I need to stop stuff. <laughs> 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 oh, this has just been... This is, a, this is an interesting... Uh, well, damn. I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Pardon me. I'm going to frostbite the guy. Uh, so, DC 15 Constitution save. Okay, okay. Um, the adorable, uh, fiery baby skull will try its best. Here we go. Huzzah! Yeah. If you must know, that baby skull was a character in another campaign. Not a player character, but an NPC. That's why I have a baby. That's why I have a baby skull. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it fails its save. Oh, wait, it has, sorry, it has, um, magic resistance, so it makes it save. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. Then, I do uh, love that you can finally click on all parts of a monster character sheet, so yeah, it doesn't sound like you're just making shit up. You're like, <laughs> actually, it's got immunity to all your things that you just did. And the players are like, <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh... Yeah, Alvis is going to curse, and, uh, uh, I mean, this isn't an actual thing he has, but, uh, he's going to do a spit attack. <laughs> oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you've been a pirate for a while now. You, you, uh, hawk a wad at it. Uh, as it lands in the fire of the skull, it sizzles. <laughs> like yeah. spitting into a frying pan. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you have the creature's full attention with your disrespectful ways. It was going to go after Pietro, but and now, yeah, your taunting me mechanism is good. 
All right, top of the round, uh, Willow, you're up. Interesting. Um, well, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on it. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Uh, level one. All right. Um, and a 13 does not hit. It is still 16. benefiting from a shield spell. A oh, 16 even... does not hit. Oh. Wait, isn't it top of the round now with me? Uh, with it's you, it's but the the shield lasts until the creature's turn oh. comes back and he gets his reaction. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, let's see. It's here. almost like it's one of the best spells in 5th edition. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Listen, I, basic, I basically never fucking use shield. I always forget to take it. So, because oh, you, because you are a solid bro. Um, <laughs> as a player, I am not. I'll take shield every day of the week. So. That's all right. All right. Uh, I don't think I can bonus action attack unless I hit it once more. Okay. Let me check. Um, no, no. Where the fuck is it? Okay, no, I can't. That's the end of my turn. All right. Don't worry. The rocket launcher will take care of it. Uh, <laughs> rocket launcher, you're up. But you do hear Captain Jenna calling I... for you from outside. And and I'm gonna say. I, please let me kill it. I Surge <laughs> really wants to kill something. Excuse me, the what? Oof. All right, now remember, bonus action um, shots. Are you, this is from dual wielding. Yeah, yeah that uh, that is triggered by taking the attack action. So you, you have to make sure oh, that you're, sure but remember fifth edition, you can split up your, um, your attack. So we'll assume that's the first attack from your attack action. Now you have another attack and then you decide what to do with the bonus action after the fact. Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, All right. Just to keep us, you know, slightly on raw. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you start exiting the room and you can't resist. You take a shot at the creature. It just sort of drops to the floor and you, uh, kind of blow up a chunk of fireplace uh, and then it floats back into place uh, alright alright now I'm going to tell you this because I love Garuda a lot and I feel that if if uh, Arakakra lived in a fantasy world with ghosts, they would teach their children about ghosts. Here's why. <laughs> ghosts can age you. You only live you only live thirty years. Completely awareness. <laughs> so you, every baby every baby chick uh, Arakakra, uh, Arakakra is told if you ever see a ghost fly away fly away and never look back this is like this is like standard like cultural if there's a bat like the worst thing for our people ghosts so they do you uh i am gonna say that as as such a creature with a limited lifespan you would know about this okay okay <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, do you close the door after you item interaction, or? Uh, I think I should still be able to see it from this corner, just like that. And, uh, you, okay. Pop shot at it. Oof. All right. Uh, you got sharpshooter, so yeah, go ahead and take a shot. It's about eighty. It's eighty feet up. Uh, that is gonna hit because your range uh, penalties are not there uh, for sharpshooter. Uh, is this a magical gun yet? It's a magical silver bullets. Oh, silver bullets. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, does silver do anything to these? Eh. Eh. It should, but it doesn't. Um, yeah, we'll say it does, because, you know, Witcher. Um, all right. All right, uh, it hits. Take some damage. Yeah, Jenna, no, no. 
Okay. Oof. All right. Spooky stuff. Uh, Jenna, you're up. Do I only see the one kid? Uh, there are two more that you can see. They are behind the glass of the uh, top of the lighthouse. Uh, you could assume that the ones that are behind the glass uh, have essentially full physical cover, but like three quarters visual cover. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see the range on this. Nope, not close enough. Those probably don't count as humanoid. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cast mirror image. Okay, height. Uh, we've got a thing for that now. So, loop. Murder. And I'm gonna walk inside. <laughs> uh, All right. Guys, this is like. Close the door. <laughs> they're ghosts. Z Z you know. I mean, they no. can probably go through the door, yeah. Door All right, so the, so the door's not closed? Got it. I don't want to be near any walls, actually. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> um, three spooky kids. I'm going to make you look like your grandpa. I'm sorry, Bob. Oh, right, it's the kids. All right. So uh, the other two, uh, their initiative comes up. And now bonus action panic. Okay, bonus action panic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. These guys have a uh, pretty good flight speed, but they are pretty high up. And let's see. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, I've got an idea. Uh -huh, uh huh. Okay. Uh, I think they will just sort of slowly drift down, make their way uh, over. We'll do uh, dash action for the one. And. Let's see. Yeah, I would say with the door situation. Yeah, okay. So we'll do another uh, dash action. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, that brings us to the skull. Still hanging on. Still hanging on. Um, Alright. Alvis, it turns to you. And it is going to... How many more can you do here? Uh, let's see. Uh, it is going to summon a burning sphere. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Or, sorry, a flaming sphere. My bad. So, I do need to ask, did Ephra give out a speech before? <laughs> oh, I completely no. forgot. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe after this you take a you take a little, yeah. little breather. Yeah. Is that the ghost house? No, thank you. All right. It summons this uh, sphere and it ha launches it space jams basketball style directly into Alvis's face. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Oh. oh man, some sick damage. Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw. So is that one damage when halved or two? Or... Yeah, nineteen. I I passed. Okay. Uh, and then it sets the carpet on fire because we haven't set anything on fire in a while. So, uh, all right. That brings us to Afra. And it oh, is okay. concentrating on that flaming sphere with its little baby brain. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and kill it with surge. Okay. Try my very best. You Come can do on, it. Bud. We can do this. It's not shielded anymore, at least. Yeah. So it's 17. Uh, 17. It will use uh, another spell slot to cast shield. God <laughs> fucking damn it! God. <laughs> Couldn't I, you, Afra, as a bonus? Oh, is Surge a two-handed weapon? Y yeah. Oh, okay. Never well, mind. no, it can be a one-handed, but it would be a one d six. Because I was gonna say that you could technically offhand like your uh, your uh, shadow blade, right? Oh yeah, I suppose I could. 
And then that way you could be getting two attempts to attack it. Okay. Well, yeah. Good call. Good call. Um, it's, uh... I don't have this set up as an offhand. Ooh. But... Um... So it'll be... Nice. Less the... The so dex damage. Eight, yeah, the dex damage. Oh, right, because you already have the Shadow Blade summoned. Gotcha. Yes, I do. Uh, all right. Yeah, that is going to hit. And it is a critical hit, and it is a magic item. And it is also the sneak attack damage. Uh, so yeah, because my minus the dex, it's only two less. So that's 16 points of damage. Plus, let's see what actually happens with the crit. Could be... Could be crazy. Let's see. Uh, it is spell damage, so this comes up as a guiding attack, maximum damage. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, and the and the target has disadvantage on saving throws against your spells <laughs> for the next one d four rounds. Well, so, I got so that's I think... four four d six plus four d eight. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I got news. It will not have disadvantage because uh, your shadow blade shatters it. Uh, you feel grumbles of jealousy from the trident as you made a big deal about how he was going to kill it. And then you gave your new favorite weapon the kill instead. I'm going to glare at him and I'm going to say you missed. Oh, yeah, Afra. <laughs> you tell him. Damn. Damn. The problem is yeah, not with it. I'm gonna, I'm, with its weird, yeah, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna shake it, like, like I'm, uh, like by the neck, you know, <laughs> like I'm shaking it, <laughs> like do better next time. Guys, the damn, guys affect the Afra. She's talking to her. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, anything else from Afra? No, that's all I have. Okay, Pietro. All right. Um. Can I item interact, flip the rug over, and, like, stamp it out the fire? <laughs> uh, totally, yeah. There's, it's not big enough yet. You could use your action to put out uh, the fire. All right. I'm going to do that before things get out of hand. <laughs> I'm going to use my action to do that. Because since we're, we're, we're trying to, uh, to, to keep this place, ultimately. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. I think everybody's I kind of already fallen in love out. with the place. I mean, Alvis hasn't seen anything yet that makes him not want to stay here eventually. Just walking in, was it enough? <laughs> Dude, it was It was so welcoming to us. It was opening doors for me as I approached. You know, it, it set out this lovely illusion for us so that we'd feel comfortable. You know? You went and opened a... Uh, you went and opened the chest. I mean, that just caused all the stuff. I mean, that was totally, <laughs> totally on Pietro. All right. It was, of it, it was, it was all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> that was Pietro's fault. Glad we're all on the same page. Alvis, <laughs> you're up. Uh, and Alvis, you can hear happy children um, coming to play with you guys. So you, you don't even have to start a family. There's one waiting for you here already. Oh, that is so... See, like, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is Alex, clearly already... Oh. Them, please. The <laughs> island provides. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will take a step here. Uh, I don't see any children. I'll go out here. <laughs> guys, I don't see no any children. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. You didn't see any. Uh, you didn't see any lamprey dudes either. So yeah, yeah. No, there's there's no children here. I don't like. Literally, Alvis turns and he like looks at Jenna, like, I thought like kind of given like a, I thought you were made of sterner stuff. Look, and he's just like there's nothing here. Oh, they're there. Find them. <laughs> just both of them. Uh, yeah. He looks around. There's nothing there. And I guess this is 30 to get back in here. And Alvis is going to close the door. Sure. And uh, the door. and then I'll, I guess, dash 
And I'm just going to get ready to open these doors when my next turn comes up. Okay. And and he'll kind of like, he'll, he'll look at Jenna, he'll, he'll pat her on the shoulder. If I see any children, I will roast them. And then, out, out of character, Alvis, or, yeah, I really hope that, like, we don't have real children that are non-ghosts. <laughs> Open the door, there's a bunch of children tied up. Hey, Jenna said lightning bolt. <laughs> Yeah, I I hope you don't put Jenna through that. She she already had to live through a campaign with a baby killer, so I don't know if she wants to have to do that again. Yeah, so. they were lizard babies. <laughs> <laughs> if they were actual real children. Uh... Oh my gosh. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Willow, you're up. Uh, kick the door open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Don't let him All touch right. you. All right, so where the fuck is these kids I saw earlier on? <laughs> yeah, it's still and dark outside. It's so still. Maybe I should turn off the combat music, I guess, because you're obviously not in danger anymore. One of the best parts about this encounter is that you guys have Alvis concerned about your mental well-being. <laughs> <laughs> mm. People talking about kids. They, you know, Gruta seeing lampreys, Willow and Jenna are convinced there's children out there, and apparently we have to lightning bolt children. Um, <laughs> I shot at one. Can I make a perception check? See if I can... Uh, yeah, if you'd like to use your action to do a search action, totally can. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Uh, do I get blessed? Oh, that's creepy. Checks? Yeah, what's what going no, on? No, it's only yeah, saving throws yeah. on attacks. No. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, guidance is for skill. Mm -hmm. uh, skills. Um, Ray, as, you said you're too good for guidance. So. As you perceive, as you perceive around, uh, you can hear small children, uh, whispering, um, and laughing, but you do mm -hmm. not see any. Literally, right after you announced you were going to do a search, that, that, like, Groovy's like, you hide, and I'll find you. Oh, cool. Listen, hide and seek is very fun, but uh, you can always come talk to us. Oh, I don't fucking know. All right. Um, anything else from Willow? <laughs> uh, no, I'm. <laughs> I don't think I have anything I can do as a bonus action. Spell wise, let me uh, double check. Uh, no, I'm done. Nope, I'm not doing this. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting spooked. I was gonna tell you that down, so... <laughs> Just yeah, I mean, you control, you control your own groovy experience, <laughs> yeah. guys. That's the, that's the beauty of groovy. So, whatever, whatever you can take is up to you. So, I know the heartbeat <laughs> thing really really got to the uh the moon group uh some some of them were actually just shouting out of turn like i can't stand it anymore <laughs> Mate, it's like oh, gosh guys i love the heartbeat sound when it was on i matched the bass <laughs> on my headphones <laughs> <laughs> see like it's different for everybody <laughs> ow garuda you just stick next to alvis and he'll take care of you okay, okay. all right yeah yeah i uh, turned it up I turn it up. I'm turning it back down. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Garuda, you're up. Um, Garuda's gonna walk over to Alice, uh, stand right here. Um, I put on some pleasant ambient music on Groovy One, if that'll help calm you down a little bit. Question: Is there a, <laughs> is it an action to open up a window? Uh, it's an item, item interaction. Okay. Uh, unless it, unless it's locked or something, but this is, you know, it's just shuttered. So. Right. No, uh, I'm gonna use my action to. Uh, my pistol, I have a chance. Okay, to... sure, sure. Uh, in like one of those John Wick esque moments, uh, you somehow repair a fucking gun in six seconds. Yeah. What is, what's the, is it wisdom or dex? I'm not for sure. Um, I would say that you you are doing this as fast as possible, so it will be a dexterity check. Yeah. Ever since Xanathar's tools are very interesting because different stats can be used at different times. So, 
Oh uh, yeah. So you repair. Yeah. Uh, anybody who watches, it's like mesmerizing. He just sort of like sets it sets it down real quick and and the gun is like good to go. Jenna. Unless oh. unless Garuda has anything else he wants to do. No, that was it. No. Okay. We're gonna unlock that window next time. We all fall down. Jenna's gonna go to the center of the room and take the dodge action. Alright. Which one is oh, dodge now? Oh, sorry. Uh, I should probably hit the play button on the music. There we go. Oh. Yeah, relaxing, chill music. There we go. Yeah. I was enjoying the lovely serenading of... I mean, it's still there. It's just, you know, layered. <laughs> it's layered now. Uh, so, Jenna, what's the plan? Yeah, just dodge action in the center of the room. Uh, which one of these is dodge now? Uh, literally the Dodge Ram logo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. Don't let him touch you. Oh yeah, ghosts ghosts are bad news bears. Okay. Uh speaking of bad news bears. Uh a little girl smiling so broadly. Just imagine that this little one is smiling, but it's reaching like from ear to ear. Mm. Like split like splitting her face in a grin. Um as she smiles, her face literally splits. And like uh, like a Pac-Man frog, uh, it tears open, uh, and yeah, just kind of reveals the what was once fleshy but is now ectoplasmy goodness that is inside. Uh, you see that the inside of her face is similar to a lamprey's mouth, and you see the hungry pulsation of that suction like mouth uh, begin to grind its teeth and she lets out a horrible feral scream as she does so uh, I need everybody who is in the room so everybody except Willow um, hey. you gotta make wisdom saving throws uh, bless works for saves right correct it does, it does. so <laughs> This is I love this. So basically, both of Garuda's terrible, horrific, nightmarish, wow. scary things. Oh no, Garuda! Oh, Garuda, no. do you have another character planned, or? <laughs> I, I did. Oh. I do have another character plan. Okay, cool. Arakoko. I just said less works on uh, on saving throws. Did it? Not? I know he got a nine. Yeah. No, 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 no. Did it not work for mine? I've got less turned on. Do you have, you have less turned turn on on the save modifier? It's a different global well. modifier. You have to. It's uh, it's down in the saves yeah. box or whatever. Yep. Oh wow, Alvis. Damn. Okay. I um, mean, Alf. I mean, age me up. It doesn't matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. So here's the good news, Garuda. Because of bless, you were not aged into dust. Oh, neat. Yeah. Uh, by one, right, I think 16. by one point, you were saved. So, congratulations on that. Uh, let's see. Jenna passes flawlessly. Afra, fantastic. Pietro, you did it. No problem. Uh, Alvis, it's terrible. Um, you are uh, so freaking scared right now. Uh, yeah. So, basically, you're frightened um, for one minute, um, and since you failed your save by such a large margin, uh, you need to roll a d4 for me. A d4. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you are aged by 30 years. Oh. All right. <laughs> so I am now 140 instead of 110. Yeah, Alvis actually spent about 80 years as a slave on a pirate ship. All right, so fair that's enough. why he's, like, super against slavery and everything. And then uh, the small child with the rest of its movement is going to sort of turn its head uh, with a crackling sound, close its mouth, and then drift back through the door.
All right. Sorry, this 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 children's thing whisper is so apt. As soon as you say <laughs> that the thing fades back into the wall, this little girl's voice is like, "You're not, you're not afraid, afraid of the dark, dark are you?" <laughs> So, Guru does not allowed to fail these checks. <laughs> Alright, so those of you who, uh, that was the purple ghost, if we're going Pac-Man on this thing. Um, so it's important to keep track of which saves you have made. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, so, this ghost, uh, spooks in, uh, same deal through the door and does the same thing as the previous <laughs> ghost but not not wanting to be a copycat uh she basically as she is smiling uh the smile sort of spreads and she just sort of turns herself inside out uh yeah. pulsating spectral bones and organs sort of disgorged and floating in a mass in front of you uh, she cries out in pain, as though this whole process is absolutely mind-shatteringly painful. Witnessing this horror, uh, the five of you have to make more wisdom saves. Uh, Garuda, you uh, make the save and don't die instantly. Congratulations. <laughs> I have seen an awakened cat turned to dust by a ghost, so... You can't put me through this again, Crash. All right, Pietro... Uh, you are frightened, but you did not fail so badly that you were aged. Thanks okay. again to that bless spell. All right. Uh, with that, uh, she drifts, slowly reassembling herself back through the door. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Afra, you're up. Maybe, All right. maybe, yeah, okay. no, yeah. I was, I was eating. Um, let's see. They went through this door, right? This door. Like, uh, yeah, this, uh, Western door. Yeah, that one. Sorry. I, my, my ping thing is black, which is not oh, helpful. No worries. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, like, okay, so I'm gonna, like, kind of hide under the table, grab the doorknob, and just, like, push it open and, like, peek around the corner. Okay. And this, I'm moving here to represent my peeking. Sure. Okay. I can just barely see it, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... Yeah, I can see okay. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna... Let's see, that was one, two, three. So I'm gonna move four. <laughs> five, six. That's my 30 feet. I'm gonna stab with Surge. Okay. Um, that was the wrong button. Character sheet. Here it is. God. Oof, oof. Yeah, as you go to stab at it, uh, something goes wrong uh, with the process. Let's That's see you how wrong. Surge. This is like the worst <laughs> freaking weapon. Wow. Wow. Hurtful. Hurtful. Um, all right. As you go to attack with it, uh, yeah, man, you've been through a lot of, uh, of stuff right now. Uh, you cramp up. Yeah. Uh, this is a heavy trident. He's so big, it's hard to handle, I guess. Uh, you deal half damage for the next two rounds uh, with your uh, weapon attacks. Uh, crash. Okay. Uh, yeah. Me, uh, crit oh, oh, I do. Oh, for, it, it's fine. It'll be a bank error in your favor. So. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna... Um. Oh, let's risk it. I'm going to bonus action Grasp of the Deep to summon a tentacle 
um, right behind her. So right here. All right. Um, do you have a tentacle token? I thought you did. I so. personally do not have one, but I don't know if there is one somewhere. Yeah, I thought I added it yeah, to your okay. Pokemon collection. Okay, hold on. Um, is it? No, I'll, I'll yeah, grab I it. don't see it. Okay. Uh, here it comes. Bloop. Okay. I, I will add it officially today so that you can grab it uh, anytime you need it. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, let's do uh, lightning damage. Okay. I, I assume approved. I can't sneak attack with that. <laughs> uh, correct, because it's a spell yeah. effect, sort of like a spiritual weapon. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, all right. So it is going to hit critically, uh, making up for a uh, surge. So let's see how this one plays out. Wow. Your is... uh, shadow blade critically hit after surge shit the bed. This thing's critically hitting after the surge shit the bed. All right, Apparently... triple triple damage and two non-magical items the target is holding or wearing are also affected. Well, it's a ghost, so maybe not. No. Uh, so give me another D8. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Uh, five. So okay. that would be 12 lightning damage. All right. The ghost, being incorporeal, uh, seems to be resistant to that type of damage. Okay. All right, but it does take some. Okay. All right. She looks at you, uh, like frightened, and and hurt. And she looks from uh, from the tentacle, uh, to you, back to the tentacle, and you see the features of her face soften from fear, uh, to joy. And she turns to you and she says, "You've come home." You've come home at last. You've come home to ready yourself for when Mother wakes up. Welcome uh. home, Afra. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Anything okay. else from Afra? No. Okay. Those are all, all of my things. All right, Pietro, you're up. Uh, Pietro, um, you would hear the haunting voice of the ghost say these things uh, as they kind of hauntingly echo down the hallway. And it was the uh, the, the the pink ghost that I'm frightened. Of, yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. Pinky, Blinky, and the other one is of course Clyde. So. Right. <laughs> yeah. Makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Um. Would this be like half cover, three quarters cover? If I were to shoot at. Uh, Pinky with uh, oh three three quarters for him. sure yeah she, she's a small creature I I didn't shrink down the the minis but yeah she definitely would be because she's down All a right. short staircase she's around an ally yeah there's a lot going on okay that's the road I figured um I try and get Afra out of there but uh, yeah can't go uh, so I'm just going to I'm gonna go through this door here. Um, I'm going to steal my um, Warhammers, drop my uh, rapiers, and uh, go through that door. All right. Oh, that door right there. Okay. Yeah. So you push that door open, like entering a saloon kind of deal. And you see sitting uh, on the bed is one of the ghosts. Now, fuck me running. Well, I'm gonna go step the rest of the way in, and... Alright, I'm gonna slash at that ghost with, uh, with, with my rapiers. Alright. Necrotic's um, raging one. Now, the source of your original fear is not present. Mm -hmm. So you um, you technically would not be at disadvantage. Okay. Um, so as you slash at this ghost, uh, you do hit, and this ghost okay. has been previously damaged. Okay. So that's once, twice, three um, times a lady. 
Three times lady, and let's uh, superiority die. 17. Alright. Uh, she lets out a horrible wailing cry as you shred her essence. Uh, all that is left is uh, a large wet stain on the bed of ectoplasm. I don't feel good about this, but it could have been a lot worse. I'm okay with it. <laughs> All right. I, I'm proud of you for, for murdering a child. Looking around the room, you see two more ominous chests. You see a bookcase uh, loaded with tomes and scrolls, and you see a desk. The whole room is cheerily lit by a burning fire in the corner. All right, I'm going <laughs> to gonna step back out of the room. <laughs> And uh, I, I'm going to turn to all this and say, all right, one goes down, two to go, and there's more of the same bullshit that we run into in this room and the other, I think. And I end my turn. Okay. All right. Just in the nick of time, because that ghost initiative was just about to come up. Uh, Alvis, you're up. Okay. Uh, Alvis is going to, um, this is totally probably not sanitary. He's going to just basically grab a wad of cloth, like, tear it off his sleeve or whatever, and he's going to, uh, uh shove, shove it into Garuda's ears. Or ear holes, or whatever Garuda has. He's going to try and make sure Garuda can't hear shit. Okay. Like, oh. Uh, I hope so, because I don't want we'll you to, to die. I mean, so. okay, okay. So you're gonna, you're going to take out, uh, essentially like, like, ear ear plugs, right? And Pretty much. Stick them in his ear holes. Yep. Okay. Uh, do you consent to having your ear hole holes plugged? So, Grudo knows nothing about magic. Uh huh. And how this does. I okay. Say, this will help you. I think you're a little okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. If you, okay. if you can't, it would be like this. If you can't hear the ghost and they come. Uh, okay. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. A theory. Definitely a theory. Okay. Uh, all right. That would definitely be your action. That's, 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 that's more. Yeah, it's definitely more than an item interaction. Oh, item yeah. Interaction just to pull out the stuff and then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Willow? You're up, uh, unless Alvis uh, is going to move. But uh, no, I'm okay. next to Groot. That's right. where I'm going to be. Uh, Willow, you're up. I'm going to take a look around here, I guess. Oh, there's just the window there. And then there's like a little halfway thing there. Uh, I mean, fuck it. At this point, I'm already um out so what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna enter it but i'm gonna go up to this door here uh-huh i'm gonna put my ear up against it and see if i can hear anything through through the door okay so you're using uh so you're gonna move up to the door yeah oh yeah you do yeah. uh search search actions all right so give me a perception mm -hmm. oh, said, where the, there it is ah we're progressively getting <laughs> Yeah, I mean, nothing. I don't know. So nothing seems to be mm. going on. This door is made of door. All right. Yeah. Um. Well, that's the end of my go. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna end your turn? Uh, yeah. I don't have anything else. All right. Uh, Garuda, you're up. So uh, fortify with the courage of that. I was saying that he won't age anymore because he has wasn't ears. Sure. He's sure. Go ghost hunting. So, uh, okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Wait, I guess, can I fly in here? I guess I should ask that. Um, now the ceiling's about 15 feet, so, like, there's really not, I mean, I mean, I guess you could fly, yeah, but, uh, you'd be whapping your allies with your wings and all that, you know, okay. but, yeah. Uh, but if you want to use it to sort of quickly move across the room, like a jumping, flying leap type thing, that would, that would Makes exactly sense. What I like. and, uh, I okay. Ghost right there. I'm gonna blast her fucking head out. All right. Uh, 
she seems to be ha happily chattering at Afra as you walk into the uh, hallway. All right. All right. Uh, actually, because sharpshooter, uh, a twelve does hit. Ghosts are not uh, particularly hard to hit. They're hard to damage for most people. Uh, all right. So you place one gun on each of Afra's shoulders, and you give her tinnitus. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else to tell you, Afra. Like, it feels horrible. Um, two guns go off literally right next to your head, uh, and the they shred the uh, the ghostly child, and she lets out uh, a plaintive wail as she dies, reaching out for you, Afra. Was that pink or purple? That was pink. Damn it. I'm terrified of purple. Alright, which one is pink? Now that Pinky's dead, does that mean uh, I'm no longer a scared? Uh, correct. Pinky was the first one? Or the second no, one? Uh, purple Pink was, was the first, first one. one. Okay. I Purple's the one that you're, you're, you and uh, Pietro are scared of. Okay. Me and uh, Alvin and Gruda. Pietro's scared of pink. Oh, right, right. Alvin's not anymore, scared. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> You can't do it again to me, right? No. I mean, <laughs> since you failed, uh, since you failed, she can um, she can keep doing it to you. If you pass, you would be immune to it for 24 hours. Uh, fair enough. Um, I'm gonna hang out. Wait, can't they can't they roll a wisdom save at the end of their turn? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can roll wisdom saves at the end of your turn to undo the fear. Yep. But that doesn't mean that we can't be unwhale or like. We could still be wailed. But anyways, uh, as you yeah, if you guys weren't at the end of your turns rolling it, you guys could throw in some wisdom saves real quick to try to uh, shed purple fear if you want. Uh, um... Okay, yeah, Alvis, you're good. And Garuda, you're good because you still have bless, right? So you at least get a yeah. yeah. All right, so Jenna, you're up. Um. Yeah, knowing there's one more, uh, Jenna is going to ready a firebolt uh, in case she sees one. Okay. And she's going to stay in the middle of the room. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Willow, can you roll a charisma saving throw for me? Oh, shit. Oh, sweet. Targeting my weakness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I'll throw Bless in there. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Who needs Bless? Rolling where it matters, I suppose. Uh, and uh, day 23, I guess. Alright, yeah. A ghostly child drifts down towards you uh, from the roof and yeah. tries to enter you uh, and take control of your, uh, of your mind and body. Uh, your strength of will is too great, and you repel her. She ends her turn shit. adjacent to you. <laughs> like, you you didn't even fall for her. Just a tip, baby, just a tip. <laughs> Afra, oh. you're, you're up. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna move up here. Open okay. the door. Because I feel like I would have heard um, Willow bumbling a bit. On the other side, trying to listen. All right. Uh, Hello there. Hi. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm going to move my tentacle. Oh, also the room that you're in seems to be a pantry slash kitchen. Okay. You should okay. totally eat the food. <laughs> the fish that are, that are uh, currently... Being, you know, being scaled and prepared, but whoever started the task sort of wandered off and never finished. Uh, as Afra passes close to them, they begin to animate 
Uh, their gills pumping blood. They flop about on the table. Uh, similar to the fish that were on the ship. Are they trying to attack me? Uh, no. In fact, okay. they they say the same things to you that the fish on the ship did. Oh, okay. Okay. Is she right. turning into Aqua Woman? No, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna take kind of a half step out the door. Yeah. And uh let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and stab the surge again. Okay. As you I'm go to say, attack the, the ghostly child, she says, uh Afra, don't attack. You came here to come home, and now you are. There's no reason for violence. We can all play together until mother wakes up. Ask who mother is. We all know who mother if is. If you stay long enough, grandfather will tell you the stories, and the stories will set you free. Yeah. God fucking damn it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. As you go to stab at them, Surge kind of grumbles, uh, and the attack kind of flies wide of the mark. Does she still look like she can barely fucking wield it? <laughs> okay. It, it looks like Surge is being very unruly in these, uh, <laughs> since you got to the island. Mm. Well, that was your last chance, bud. I'm putting you back and we're doing Shadow Blade from here on out. Okay. We're gonna do bonus action tentacle attack on the, on the chick. Uh, yeah, that we'll is gonna hit. We'll cold, do cold damage this time. Okay. Uh, due to her incorporeal nature, um... She takes no damage from cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, who's worth a worth a try? Let's try. All, All right. right. Uh, Pietro, you're up. All right. Well, I'm not dealing with that room until we've got everything else sorted out. Oh no, this is problematic now. <laughs> I got all three of you are red, just covered in blood. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, there um, hasn't been time to press the digitation it off, you know? Yeah. Course, All right. So, clear shot. Um, stowing my rapiers, and <laughs> I will take a shot with my uh, new hand crossbow loading a silver bolt. Okay. Oh, that is going to be a critical hit. Uh, I really need to at this point. Let's see what happens. Uh oh wow. You shoot her right in the in the neck. Uh go ahead and roll two more d6s. Because you got quadruple damage. Oh, very nice. Um so she takes a total of 14 damage from the shot. And because I don't have uh the uh Crossbow expert feet. That's all I got. Okay, fair enough. Well, you can still extra attack with that, can't you? No, you... can I? It's got. You gotta, it's a loading weapon, so you. Gotta... Oh yeah. right. Gotcha. Yeah, that's because that, mm -hmm. that's the whole thing with crossbow expert. Yeah, yeah. you need crossbow. Yeah. And you can't yeah. do even hand crossbows because of their yeah. name. So. Yeah. Uh, all right, Alvis, you're up. Okay. Uh, I mean, they seem to have whatever. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Like, um, Alvis is gonna go in this room. Pietro said something about uh, boxes, so <laughs> Jesus, you never Alvis, listen. Alvis is gonna open up this box. Uh, his left or his right? Uh, south on the map. Alvis is right. Okay. Extremely clear. No way I could uh, mistake it for anything else. <laughs> All right. As you open it up, uh, inside the chest are uh, a great many uh, bones. Uh, mummified skin and rotting clothing uh, clings to the bones. Nice. Uh, in addition to that, um, the body is wearing uh, studded leather armor. Uh, there is a longbow in there. And uh, a box of candles. 
Are they scented? <laughs> okay. Uh, Do you sniff the candles? <laughs> no, no, okay. no. Uh, no. I'll, I like yeah. how that's that's your limit. That's, that's your yeah, limit. No. Yeah, you come like on. Sniff the sniff, candles. Sniff Am I a crazy? Candle? I mean, right. this whole scented candle thing. That's that's for that's for the kids. All right. Uh, I will then, I guess, uh, use my action to just open the other box. Elvis is just going to fling them both open, I guess, on his turn. Sure. Um, uh, I don't have Detect Magic active right now because I'm concentrating on the Bless. So when I cast Bless, I have to drop Detect Magic, so I don't know anything about what I'm seeing yet. Uh, yeah, You've sure. Got that pendant. <laughs> You've got that pendant. I do have the pendant, but it's still a concentration spell. Uh, as you open that second chest... No, I thought the uh, pendant threw in a bread. It doesn't yeah. take... Yeah. yeah. Oh, if if it's not taking up concentration, then I, then I still it have it up. I don't think... No, Detect Magic doesn't use your concentration. Does it? No, normally it does, but if the pendant is... Oh, if you cast a spell from an item, uh, uh, it follows all the rules for casting a spell. Yeah, um, it, yeah it, it's it'll cast Detect Magic three times per day. Yeah, yeah so... so. Yeah, so okay. uh, if you had to maintain concentration, then it would have been off. Anyways, yeah. it is full of blood, flesh, bones, and parts, and it rolls into initiative. Oh, beauty, beauty. I warned you. I mean, I found one box of treasure, and there is another box. It could have been two boxes of treasure, we know. <laughs> All right. No, gut, no, no guts, no glory, people. Um, that brings us to Willow. Cool. I have a very interesting idea once my roll 20 reload. Um, I'm wondering if I should just try and overkill this ghost. Yes, yes you should. Hey, <laughs> is it possible to fit a fireball? <laughs> Do you want to fireball this ghost? Um, <laughs> I mean, here's the template for it. Keep in mind that, you know, you've got to place the template in a way that will not kill your allies, but... Yeah, that's why I'm like, I was like, I'm going to put a fireball down if Please I can. thank you. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, fi fireball template pretty big. I recommend here would probably be good. For maximum effectiveness. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I kill us all because I'm going to max damage it if I ever if do it. If you try to no. increase those gains okay. a little bit... I am okay with this. No, um, I'm not going to fireball it because... I, I was going to use my channel divinity on it. I don't want to actually kill everyone. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay. Just, exactly yeah. like I, I can't see a place where you could put it and just get her and not get yeah. uh, Pietro, who sort of stumbled out into the uh, the crossfire. <laughs> That's right. All right. Um, Sorry. Well, who boldly strode into mm -hmm. the crossfire? Change of plan, then, I guess. I will. Okay. Um... I'm sober. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know how well that would work. Ah, oh, man. I'm just trying not to burn for all my fucking spell slots. Um, which is a silly, silly idea. Um, well, uh... I'll, uh... I'll, 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 I'll just smack her twice, I guess. Okay. You're faithful. Um, oh, let me get back to the... God, I'm all the way down. 24... 24 definitely hits. Uh, and 9 points of slashing damage. Um, All right. And this is a magical weapon. Yeah. Uh, she is bloodied. Nice. Uh, then or I were will... ectoed. I don't know. <laughs> bloodied asterisk, quote unquote. And then yeah. I'll hit her again. Okay. Uh, D4. Hey. All right. Th that bless coming in clutch. <laughs> yeah. Takes another 12 points of slashing damage for that. Right. Yeah, she in bad shape. Mm. Uh, well, uh, stupid little fucking ghost child. Uh, is that the end of my turn? All right, fair enough. Uh, Garuda, you're up. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking around. Let's see if there's I mean, you could hear you could hear fighting coming from outside. Okay, that's from where from where you currently are. See the ghosty? Oh. Oh. Oh wait. Yeah, there I, she is. I'm not oh, she's anymore. purple. Yeah. So as soon as she comes into sight, you can't move any closer. So right there. I'm not fear about her. He, he passed pass safe. safe. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Then you're good to go. All right. 
That overconfidence grew and like, yeah, I can't be you know, Asian meat anymore. <laughs> oh, wait, t technically, if we're being super technical, <laughs> uh, you couldn't hear anything, but you see Afro oh, fight. Yeah. You see, you see Afro fighting through the doorway, and it would still make sense for you to go around. But yeah, your 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 holes are well plugged. Okay, uh, so that's a miss. That's a that is a miss. Let's see what happens. All right, as you go and take the shots. Uh, not only does the gun foul, but, um, uh, let's see, that one makes absolutely no sense. Okay, um, so, god, I don't even, I'll just draw another card. That one's terrible. It's beyond my imagination to even fix that one. Uh, alright, oh damn, okay. Reroll, uh, your attack against the closest creature to the target... Other than yourself. <laughs> so, uh, if the attack roll, if the die rolled is an even number, it will be for Willow. If it is an odd number, it will be for Afra. But roll a new attack roll. Does it still have to be sharpshooter? <laughs> uh, we have to stick to the original shot that was made, so yes. Oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> So you shoot right through the ghost, and you hit beautiful Willow. Oh, um, critical hit! Um, okay, okay. Um, are we crit carding that one too? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Good thing I have. I mean, Willow probably didn't see it coming. <laughs> You'll never see it coming. I, I, I didn't think I shot the ghost, but the bullet went through her. So, oh my god. I like the that's, what, that's what happened. The bullet went through. I didn't miss. It just went right so, through. It <laughs> says something slipped. Uh, quadruple damage. Uh, and her AC is reduced uh, for by four for the next eight rounds. So oh I'm assuming god. you just blasted a hole right in her armor. Uh, quadruple damage would be another 10 added to the 29 damage you already dealt to her are you dead dude i have no she's got plenty of hit way. points and she's a half work so she would just be like ouch <laughs> uh, <laughs> i thought for a moment i was gonna have a fellow eyeless i think all right what do we got give me two d10 trust issues <laughs> all right <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, so 36 points of damage. Uh, what the fuck? As, uh, as a bullet explodes from the ghost, and at the same time, the gun kind of fouls in your hand and causes that misfire to happen. Uh, continuing your turn. Uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm free. I'm going to put that gun up. And, uh, put okay. <laughs> and, uh, shoot again. Remember when Garuda fixed it really, really fast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quite as well as he thought he did. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna use a grip point to make sure I get advantage right this time. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Willow, as you see him pull out the other gun, please tell me what goes through your mind. <laughs> Finish the job. Is Fucking there a slight it, tightening howdy. of the butthole uh, as the second gun is pulled out? Um, that oh, one fuck. hits. Uh, you watch the bullet pass through this ghost. And just as it is about to strike you in the face, the inertia of the creature's uh, essence slows the bullet down, and it drops to the ground as the ghost uh, discorporates, mm, disapparates. I don't know. It yeah. dissolves. <laughs> just combobulates. Yeah. I know. All right. <laughs> uh, everyone, everyone in the uh, courtyard, you're like, sweet, combat's over. But for some reason, the combat music's still playing. Uh, yeah, you look around, it. and you don't know where Alvis is. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else from Garuda? Uh, he apologizes. He doesn't, he doesn't even apologize. He goes, well, it's a ghost, what you gonna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> he puts up his hand like, ah. <laughs> I bought this plate, like, fucking <laughs> a week ago. <laughs> I'll try and, like, have my tentacle plug the hole where she's yeah. bleeding profusely. Yeah. <laughs> when I heard quad damage, I was like, oh no, because I I know what it feels like to shoot someone with a gun and deal quad damage. Uh, yeah. One shot something. I 
<laughs> All right, uh, Jenna. There was a lot of gunfire outside. Um, uh, there was a screaming howl of uh, ghosts being defeated. Uh, what do you do? So I go check on Elvis. Okay, fair enough. Looks like he found some treasure chests. Well, I see the open chest, right? Yeah. Elvis, why did you open that? <laughs> Do you not, do you not think sometimes? Uh, he's gonna point to the one that's filled with loot. And... Is it loot? Huh? Like huh? Bones. Yeah, we had a ghost problem though. We could have separated our problems. Um, and I'll try and frostbite the chest, the the flesh in the chest. All right. Uh, let's see. It may it needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, it fails, and it takes uh, the damage. And cold and disadvantage. All right. Uh, anything else from Jeff? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to back up and uh, <laughs> observe from a distance. I was going to say, she back up closes the door. <laughs> oh, do you close the doors? Or... No, I don't close okay. the door. <laughs> you go uh, out of uh, just... okay. Afra, you're up. Okay, well, I'm gonna go pew! Um, cause I don't really care where all this is. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, I, I feel like I, I see a chest in here. Aww. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> open the wanna, chest. Open no, the I, chest. I just wanna poke it. Yeah, yeah, okay. how did that go last time? Uh, you poke <laughs> the chest, and nothing happens. Item interaction. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm gonna leave it be for now. I'm okay. gonna. So let's see. That was that was one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. I'm walking up behind Jenna. Like, uh, hey, what's going on? Uh, another flesh ooze monster in that room. Points at door with Albus. Albus yes, waves. Uh, Wipe yourself up. You're gross. <laughs> Damn. Uh, <laughs> anything else from Afro? Um, I <laughs> am <laughs> going. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna summon my uh my my packed heavy crossbow and take a shot at the thing. Um, that Elvis awoken, but I'm I'm gonna do it like Garuda did to me. I'm gonna do it like right behind Jenna's head. I'm... Big twang. So I All right. It's, crossbow. it's not. Uh, yeah. Even with the cover it has, um, from Elvis, from the box, from everything else, uh, you do manage to kind of sink the sink the shot, as it were. Um. Into into the chest. Uh, it takes twenty one points of damage. Nice. And that will be. Um, well, I guess I'll move my tentacle. How how far can I move that? Anyway, you can move on while I move my sure, tentacle. Sure, sure. That's all I'm doing. All right. Uh, with a, a surging motion, the creature uh, splooshes out of the chest and all over uh, Alvis. Uh, you are covered from head to toe in coagulating blood. Beauty, beauty. All right. Uh, the creature, no less beautiful than the last one, uh, surges up and over you. Uh, it is the disadvantage to this attack roll. Uh, I'm going to purposely let my shield life so I'm not including my shield in my ace attack. Oh, God, I... Will is like, why am I bonded to you? <laughs> I just remembered I got one bond up. <laughs> well, I mean, that's concentration, right? You probably... No, what no it's, it's not. Oh, it's... oh, oh yeah, wow. It's not. It's not. It's I forgot not. to use this passive ability on the last one. I will not do that this time. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, so with disadvantage, it tries to pseudo pod you. Oh, not bad for disadvantage. Cool. Okay. Have resistance to the damage. Yeah. So that is three bludgeoning and five oh, no. necrotic. Wait, wait. Question: Are we huh? are we within sixty feet of each other? Oh. No. I, I don't think you are. I think, I think you might be. I think you are. Let's. I mean, I, I'm here. I don't know where you are. You're exactly yeah. sixty feet from each oh other. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good no. to know. So, so three bludgeoning and okay. five necrotic each. Yeah. Uh, so the so eight total. Uh, that drops me down to eleven of my temp hit points. It takes twenty cold damage from armor of Agathis. All right. Uh, yeah. as you... Okay. Alright, yeah, got it. <clears throat> Alright, and it is bloodied by that armus of Aga armor of Agatha stuff. <laughs> Alright, and that will be its turn. It'll just stay right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. I mean, I cast that thing as a fourth level spell, so I'm so glad that I actually got one off. Uh, Pietro, nice. you're up. All right. I think uh, between Willow reacting to the damage and hearing the comment out of all of this predicament. Uh, so one, two. Oh, I have to roll a concentration check, too. Well, you didn't technically take damage. Isn't that yeah, how it works? You don't have to roll concentration checks on temp HP. Oh my god, that's awesome! I did not know that. Hmm. Um, does this creature have uh, partial cover from uh, from all of these? Uh, no, it's too big at this point. Now that it's reached okay. its full size, yeah. In that case, um, I will uh, take another shot with uh, my hand crossbow. On uh, the creature, because I'm not going to be able to get close enough to deal. No, hold on. No, I can get. I can. I can get close enough. I'll. Uh, I'll draw my rapiers. I'll throw my hand crossbow. Draw my rapiers, and I will stab it. Three times. Okay. Mm. Oh, that is definitely going to hit. Give me a Constitution okay. save. Oh shit. All right, you make the save, so you only take half of that 2d10 damage. <laughs> what? Uh, Remember yeah. when you guys attacked it last time? It, like, yeah. it like rides your weapon up to hit you in the face? Now, what I did forget is that... It didn't do that last time. Yeah, it did. It didn't yeah, do it, it just, to you. It didn't it do it to you. It did to somebody else. But what it, sh yeah. it actually should have done it to every attack you made... Um, has another damage shield on top of the overflow. The overflow is like its reaction, but every time this creature is touched uh, or hit uh, with a melee attack, uh, it deals 1d10 necrotic damage. So uh, for that first attack, uh, you take another four points of necrotic. So you took three and then another four, so seven total. So you healed it for more damage than you did. <laughs> Cat's there we go. Well, All right. Uh, you, have, you have other attacks you can make. Basically kind of weird. Yeah. Alright. No, I'm just, I was just checking my, my list. Alright. <clears throat> let us, uh, let, let us continue. Sure. Uh, both right. of those are going to hit. Uh, let me see. Sorry, I'm macroing it up so it's a little bit cleaner. There we go. All right. Uh, for each time that you hit it, you take 
Uh, six necrotic damage, and then four necrotic damage. You go back to your hand crossbow. Lesson yeah, I was wondering, I was like, man, I remember these things being so much tougher than this last time I used them. Um, okay. <laughs> the first one uh, was drunk and didn't know. But you, do, thing is, you, do you, remember you do 19 the points movie. of damage to it, but then it drains 10 points of blood from you. Damn. All right, Alvis, uh, you're up next. Give me a second. I had a puppy get locked in here with me. Hold on. <laughs> I also forgot to do a thing. May have actually ended it. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Uh, All right. So, Alvis, uh, you're up. I am. Um, I mean, Alvis is fairly, like, I'm not going to lie. He's, he's, he's feeling pretty cocky right now. He's just going to, he's just going to smile at it. And, uh, he's, he's going to, uh, uh, uh just throw a firebolt at its face. I know it's disadvantage. Cause I All right, in. sure. Go for it. Do-do-do. 17 fire with a 22 to hit. Uh, that's really good. Um, it, it hits. It's resisted though, right? Uh, it takes, uh, actually, I know it seems like I'm making this up. Um, <laughs> it is, it is immune to fire damage. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Less, less, less. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> not that this is going to be his thing moving on, but just this is his mood today in the lighthouse. As soon as he throws fire at it and nothing happens. Yeah. He spits at it. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. It absorbs it as one temporary hit point. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Well, good thing tempted points don't stack, so it lost the four. It had the four. Um, actually, <laughs> <clears throat> this creature may stack temporary hit points until oh, it oh, reaches max uh, half of its maximum HP value. Never mind, that's pretty busted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any rule breakers? Uh, <laughs> edit. <laughs> Look, this ooze purchased the monster equivalent of Xanthar's Guide, okay? So... Just because it's got some stuff outside of the vanilla handbook doesn't make it a cheater. Okay. Your uh, your, <laughs> your nerd voice totally sounded like that that video <laughs> where Ollie B pretends to be a nerdy Uber driver. So anything else from Alphys? Uh no, no. He'll just uh yeah, he's just he's just in its face. Alright, fair enough. Uh Willow, you're up. I'll uh move my way on over. Okay. That's fight for your movement. Well, I mean, we're going to be here for a little bit, so I may as well just start healing myself. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to, as an action, cast Aura Vitality. Poof. Alright, sounds good, one. sounds good. Uh, and as a bonus action, I'm going to heal myself for 2d6 hit points. And uh, keep this one going for, like, what, up to a minute? Cool. Alright. Um... Hey, this is, this is, there we go. But back on 31 now, because I feel like I'm going to need to start here and my Alvis starts getting like the shit kicked out of him. Alright, Garuda, you're up. Um, For the record, everyone, Elvis is completely fine. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, just see the I mean, they can see your health bar, so they would know if you're completely fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right, I keep forgetting that. Oh, that was a regular ASP, goddammit, it was just regular. Okay, and I'm uh, gonna trade out again, get some sharpshooter on this one. 11 hit? Uh, yeah, 11 hits, because sharpshooter. Uh, Alright, you're blasting your way through its quote unquote cheater temp HP. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Alright, fair enough. 
Uh, that brings us to Jenna. Jenna's gonna go to Afra and cast Prestidigitation. Okay, you start <laughs> cleaning her up. for you. <laughs> Got it. Start starting with the face, I'm assuming, and work your way down in one foot uh, cubes. <laughs> Does it only do one foot cubes? Yeah, that's the spell. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we'll start with the face okay. and the hair, especially the <laughs> hair. <laughs> All right, Afra, do you stay there and get groomed, or I mean, Alvis to, <laughs> seems to be fine. I'm gonna roll my eyes at Jenna and uh, and. I guess take another shot at this thing. Thirteen. Um, Thirteen is uh, going to hit. Over sixteen damage. All right. And uh, doesn't like that was... piercing damage. Doesn't yeah. seem to have a problem with slashing damage, but doesn't like that piercing damage. Four, five, six, just. Moving the tentacle along. All righty. All right, that's it. Uh, the creature's turn comes back. It gets its reaction. Uh, it is going to continue to attack. Uh, well, there's a new challenger. Let me see. New challenger did stab it quite a bit, whereas this guy, uh, ineffectual. So Pietro, it's going to try to use pseudopod on you. Here we go. Oh, only a nine. All right. Uh, and then it's just going to kind of surge forward a little bit. Uh, that is all it's going to do. Pietro, you're up. If I move, it will provoke an attack of opportunity. But if I stay and stab it, then mm -hmm. I'm hurting myself. You hurt yourself and you heal it. You should disengage and back up. I cannot disengage. Um, I will take the dodge action, and I will... You can't disengage? Is it like a character flaw or something? Or... <laughs> I thought disengage was strictly a rogue action. Oh, no, it's no. anybody. Rogues can do it better than other people. But, Rogues can yeah. do it as a bonus action. But, but everybody, a, yeah, anyone that wants to spend ah. their action can do so. <laughs> In fact, there have been some mighty fighters throughout history who have used the action surge to disengage. Uh, just to get the hell out of a bad situation. Mm. Never. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. I'm going to disengage. All right. Get back. Okay. Action surge. And put away my weapons and pull out my crossbow, hand crossbow to shoot it. With All right. A take a shot. Crossbow. Uh, that's going to hit. Take seven points of damage. That is my turn. All right, Alvis, it's just you and your new friend. What do you do? <laughs> okay, well, now that I know that uh, fire uh, doesn't do anything, um, uh, I'm going to cast a Chaos Bolt on it. Okay. Because I don't have Magic Missile, so I guess I'm rolling the dice on to whether or not I'm going to fire damage it. All right, go for it. Oh god, Oof. one one this damage. Be, no, that's on the attack roll. This has been a very swingy uh fight. Let's see what happens. Uh yeah, so that's that's a one on my attack roll. I see. Uh, uh, make a wisdom saving throw as your magic uh warps and surges. Oh beauty. Beauty beauty. Wisdom save is a fourteen. Okay. Um, okay. It is acid damage for the record. Fair enough. Uh, you guys watch as Alvis goes to cast a spell. Uh, the creature washes over him and he all but disappears, uh, beneath its bulk, uh, just consumed by the creature. This uh, would not be considered an attack. Uh, correct, correct. But I'm going off of what the critical fumble card told me to do. So. Okay. Uh, 
inside the creature, you hear uh, the horrible snapping of bones and, and tearing of muscle. And suddenly, from within the, the creature, uh, emerges a... Let's see. Where are you at? Uh, B, C, D, e, F, G. Yeah, we'll go with uh, this one. This one's good. Uh, you see a hideous uh, scorpion uh, emerge, uh, lashing its tail, uh, whipping about in a frenzy, um, pulling itself free from the creature. <laughs> All right. Uh, am I to assume that I am currently not Alvis? So any abilities I have follow up with would not be at play? I mean, Alvis isn't here. Okay. Alvis is gone. Ugh. All right. Uh, so that brings us to Willow. Is the creature sheathed in ice? Uh, yes. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, then that's uh, 25 will get me to here. Oh, hello there. What the fuck? <laughs> Is that Same a scorpion? Same. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, well, it's more lobster than scorpion, but it has scorpion stats. It's like a horrible nightmare lobster. <laughs> I see that your miniature backed back out of the room. Interesting choice. <laughs> uh, can I get a fireball in there? Sure. Uh, do you want it on the fleshy mound of blood or on the hideous lobstrosity? Um, whichever one won't get I, us in it. I, I, would, I would yell at Willow saying her about to cast fireball that it seems to be immune to fire. Yeah. It, Both of them or just the flesh mound? <laughs> I mean, just the flesh thing. Well, that's good to know. Uh, I'm gonna Scorpion cast this might be away. Alice. Wait. <laughs> I'm just getting ready to cast my... Oh. Wait. Change of plan. It might. Um, so the scorpion is Alvis. I said <laughs> might. I'm about to fucking walk in here and just... <laughs> I was, Willow is so confused right now. No, yeah, it's just very good role playing because. <laughs> I mean, you just got done dealing with a ghost child uh, that tried to possess you, being shot by an ally through another ghost. You finally go into the room, push past a spectral tentacle, look into the room <laughs> expecting to see Alvis, and you just see uh, like a mini kaiju battle between a mound of bloody flesh. And, um, a lobstrosity. I wasn't prepared for you. <laughs> How did yeah. you make up prepared for you? <laughs> oh my god. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if Willow just stands there gobsmacked and takes no, no action, I, I would I, totally I, award DM inspiration for good role-playing, but... <laughs> It's okay. I'm gonna go with my original plan of just, uh, balls to the wall, just fucking, um, <laughs> reactionary. I throw a fireball in there. Okay. A, a fireball? <laughs> okay. I don't have a fireball. That's oh. a wizard shit. A oh, fireball. Okay. Yeah, a fireball. Hell yeah. Um, and Man? I'll channel divinity max. Oh my God. <laughs> that was right, my original plan. I didn't. I've been outside. Oh God. <laughs> you know. You know what. You know what's just beautiful about this Willow is that we're still warding bonded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me that damage. Um, oh, it's you forty-eight just damage. You just maximize it, right? It. So eight d six. So what, forty-eight. Yeah, forty-eight. All right. Um. Scorpion needs to make a saving throw. Does it have a, uh, a physical dexterity stat, or am I using my own? Uh, I don't know who Am is, but uh, you fail. 
Uh, <laughs> and then the creature has to make it save. Uh, it has a negative two. It's really not dexterous. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, yeah, so the scorpion is bloodied, but survived. Uh, because it only took half the damage, it, right? Yeah. So it had, bond? it had yeah. 11 temporary hit points that are now gone. Okay. And, and then, so it would still take 13 damage to bring it to 39 from its max. But <laughs> Willow takes 24 oh. damage. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. I, I, I guess I'll start smoking. <laughs> I told you it might right. be uh, The creature, there is like steam and sizzles coming off of it. Uh, but unlike the first one, where your DM was looking at both the flame skull and the blood ooze at the same time and got resistances and immunities mixed up, it is in fact immune to fire cool. uh, and slashing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Of all, yeah, all slashing, even magical slashing. Um, so yeah, the uh, thing kind of like is steaming as like the fireball kind of goes off. The room itself, I mean, yeah, you you definitely blew up that room with a fireball. Um, and this thing is still going because um, it only took a little bit of damage. Uh, all in the name of. <laughs> A good laugh. Now I need to roll a concentration check to see if I keep or if I tell it to going. All right, Man. fair enough. I, I'm pretty sure everyone's bless is gone after I uh, morphed. Really? Uh, I mean, can you not main? I mean, you you casted it, so I imagine. I, don't I, I I I don't know if my brain is mine. I don't. I honestly don't. I don't know all the details. Uh, Crash, am I still concentrating on? I, I, I used to allow um, concentration during uh, a polymorph um, because, you know, like, it was fine. Uh, but uh, okay. it, and technically it doesn't interrupt concentration. Um, so it's not, it's not wrong to do so. You have, when you're polymorphed, the mind of the creature that you've been polymorphed into. Oh, yeah. um, the only thing is you remember who your allies are, essentially. Um, so but other than that, you have to role play as the creature with the intelligence of the creature. Fantastic. But you do recall who your allies are. It's a little the line's a little hazy today. Who are allies? Because uh, it's been a little. There's been a little bit of friendly fire. Um, <laughs> literal friendly fire as well. And, uh, and self right. harm. And then I'll bonus action heal myself. <laughs> And then bonus action, heal yourself. All right. <laughs> so yeah, uh, anyone who is blessed, assume that your bless is gone. All right, cool. Okay, that brings us to Garuda. Uh, not knowing what the fuck is happening, he's just gonna keep doing what he was doing before. Uh, he's gonna shoot the first one with his ASP. He's like the big guy. That's what I'm shooting. Uh, I don't know if that hits, but. Uh, Second SP, yeah, that hits. All right, without any melee combatants to get uh, hit points from, uh, its bank is drained. That second shot, it explodes, filling the room with blood. That's good because uh, I have one more shot that I need to reload every fucking weapon All I have. Right. All right. Uh, I think, Willow, you got empirical evidence that, uh, the scorpion was Alvis when you took the damage from the yeah. scorpion. <laughs> so if you alert everyone else, maybe, uh, maybe Garuda will not shoot another teammate today. <laughs> so. He, he can't hear us. I can't hear it. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> Alvis plugged your ears. I have no clue what's going on. All right. I mean, do you want to take your third shot at the evil scorpion? Uh, I mean, it's totally within your right. It's not PvP because somebody plugged your ear holes, so you wouldn't be able to have it explained to you what's going on. This would fairly be considered role-playing. Yeah. You would, you would shoot a giant scorpion, let's be honest. To be fair, I did too. Don't worry about Can it. I do it? <laughs> yeah, you, you saw Willow throw a fireball at the damn thing. <laughs> I mean, you're, you've got no reason to think that you need to protect it. 
Can I do a wisdom check? Just because if I don't see it anyone else attacking it, I wouldn't attack it. But... Uh, yeah. Give me, give me just a flat intelligence check. Yeah. I mean, I did attack it <laughs> almost immediately. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously this thing is yeah, it's here to kill you. It came out of the ocean and it's here to kill people. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, Eleven. I don't think it's through the scorpion's armor. So shoots me instead. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he, he does. He does uh, put the gun directly next to your beautiful uh, pointy ear and take the shot. So now you have tinnitus on top of. Uh, I'm actually else. going to fucking kill that bird in a second. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, Garuda. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the magic that Alvis used on you, but your guns are like silent today. They're just so <laughs> quiet. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Assuming you guys <clears throat> calm the shit down, you can stop <laughs> fighting the scorpion, but maybe we'll keep going. Jenna, what do you do? I mean, Jenna's cleaning up after. <laughs> <laughs> Afra, do you continue to be groomed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Pietro, <laughs> you're up. Alright. Um... <laughs> that tone of voice just conveyed so much. I'm not gonna shoot him. I would have figured this. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to gingerly go up, Alvis, and say, "Alvis, is uh, that's that's you in there? Yes." See if I get a response. Okay. I mean, you have plenty of uh, noise receptacles on your body all the little hairs and stuff uh so you you know okay and is all of us a medium creature is he a large creature this oh he's, he's a large, large creature. creature yeah thick boy now there are doors in here uh no those are windows those are windows okay. yeah i would say a maximized fireball probably blew them open so i will <laughs> yeah Yeah, this room is nuked. This room is nuked. Okay. So did did so did my uh, so I wouldn't be able to find my uh, crossbow bolt in all this mess. No, <laughs> uh, no definitely not. <laughs> That's gone a maximized there. fireball. Yeah, a, a crossbow bolt would not have made it. I'm thinking. And that destroyed anything else. But I admire how frugal here. all of your characters are. Uh, I mean, it's done. Armor or longbow still be intact, or have they burnt to a crisp? I mean, they were inside the chest. That might be all right. The lid would have been open. I don't think uh, so. If they're ma you'll know they're if they're magical or not, because if they're magical, they would have been okay. Okay, I'm I'm gonna t gonna take a look at uh, at, at that chest. What, what do I see? <laughs> uh, yeah. So what is left of the chest? Um, has like you know had blood and guts like stuck to the sides of it from where the ooze was uh was layered um in the other chest uh same deal uh you see the now scorched remain mummified remains uh actually mummified i guess they're burning a little bit um they're in uh badly blackened and fire damaged leather uh there is the remnants of a longbow and there is uh, a box of melted black wax <laughs> it smells like licorice. <laughs> oh. oh, sweet scent! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, in that case, I, I would turn to all this. I look at all this, and then I would say to the group, "Okay, all this. Let's uh, continue searching the uh, the rest of the uh, <laughs> so practical. of the lighthouse, unless we want to take a short rest before we proceed." I need like ten minutes to fix everything. Well, I also. Uh... Yeah, you pull out the waxy cotton balls, and uh, yeah. 
I don't take I'm also going to gonna point ah! out the chest in the other room that may or may not have anything scary in it. God, how much damage do I take? On <laughs> and another blood thing rolls into initiative. Why are you, not I'm just this pointing it out. I'm not opening uh, it. So, I'm going to take you out of combat. Uh, Alvis, you have 30 more seconds to be a giant scorpion. Um, <laughs> oh. Hey. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to Willow, and just wrap my tail around in a hug. In, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a hug, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna poke her. I'm just gonna hug her with mm-hmm. my tail. I'm sorry. Until... <laughs> and then when Alvis becomes Alvis, he'll be hugging Willow. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, so yeah, the scorpion body uh, with a horrible grinding, crunching sound uh, starts to shrink and uh, turn back into uh, Alvis. Oh, God. I am covered in blood, smoking, <laughs> hole in my armor and in my chest. You guys have a way with maps, let me just yeah. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I've still got... Oh, sorry. Quick question: How do I delete a token? My uh, my oh, just select it and hit delete on your keyboard. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's easy. I'm gonna, I guess, spend like the rest of my fucking aura of vitality <laughs> just healing myself. <laughs> okay, sure. I still have eight more uses of it, basically, because it's up to all right. Minute. Pump them out. Two d six. Does anyone so else? So sixteen d six. Yeah. I uh. I'm missing 13 hit points somehow. Uh, I'm just gonna like kind of roll through this until I get my my HP back, and then I just start healing other people too. Uh. uh da, da, da. So I'm just reloading everything for Ash and fixing my pistol. And sure. Getting everything up for the next fight, and um, are we doing a short rest um, or not? Up well, to you guys. I guess if if we're taking ten minutes, I'll um. Well, short rest is an hour, but yeah, you de- you're definitely taking ten minutes. It sounds like to do some rituals yeah. and stuff. No, yeah. I can I can take ten minutes to uh um give everyone a talk about oh, how okay. important yeah. it is to know where our allies are and to aim appropriately. <laughs> you're you're um, not gonna comment on how badass we are of like I mean... killing. You're, you're, no, you're I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do better next time. It's an encouraging lecture. Oh come on, we did pretty good this time with the you know, with the exception <laughs> of a few missteps. There was a few friendly fire incidents. That being said, well, <laughs> Gerda will walk up to Willow be like, "Hey, uh, could you do something about my age? Do something about your what? My age. My, my, how old I am? I oh, I'm older. <laughs> no hard feelings about the hole in your chest, like I." <laughs> <laughs> okay, no hard feelings about that, but do you like? Uh, yeah, well... and you will need you will need some proper repairs done to the armor. For now, there is like a viscous, like uh, hardened slime in the hole in your armor, uh, left behind by Afra's tentacle. <laughs> nice. So you no longer have a four point penalty to your armor class because the duration on the debuff has ended. Yeah. Um, but cool. eventually you're going to want that, you know, repaired. Yeah, fixed up. Okay, well, so uh... Alvis gets the 9 HP. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I was going to say it. Um, where... Uh, I don't think there is anything I can do about that yes, yet. I might be able to remove Curse, but I don't have it prepared. And Afra, yeah. you are clean now. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Jenna, everyone... cleaned, Jenna cleaned everyone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and nice. everyone has 10 temp HP now. Oh, very nice. So, I am, um, including healing, I've basically taken my entire health pool's worth of damage. Which is 73. <laughs> and do you want to know where all that came from? Not enemies, funnily enough. <laughs> well, some of it was yourself. A mixture of myself and other people. <laughs> I love this. This is great. <laughs> I, I'm not mad. I live on this. <laughs> oh, question, Crash. Um, does that yeah. top monster count as a significant enemy if we're not taking a shirtless? I would say 
it is not a higher it is not equal to or higher than your level uh in its cr so and it was not a legendary or paragon creature um but you know it, what i don't know what the definition of significant is i think it's something that you would get decent experience points from well so, points if, is uh, uh a killing blow to a creature of significant threat. Uh, sure. Yeah, I would say it's a... If, it, this is a creature that if it had gotten like one or one of you guys alone or two of you guys alone, it could definitely mess you up. And imagine being a low-level party running into something like this. Oh my god. What about uh, these? Do they count as significant threat? I mean, uh, to you. <laughs> to you, they are a more significant threat than the slimes. Yeah. I feel like... Uh... Do I get I mean, your voice back then? I feel like, uh, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, that and uh, after the pep talk, I'm going to go out and. You're going to what? I, I fired off two silver crossbow bolts. Oh, and uh, okay. I mean, they're priced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Aren't they 10 gold a piece? Basically. Is it 10 pieces of ammunition for 100 or 20? Uh, it was 20. Okay, so they're five gold a piece. Yeah, you're firing five gold uh, a, uh, a shot. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Plus, I mean, I'm gonna run out if that's gonna be what I'm using. That, that yeah. is crazy inflation because in like 1985, when the Legend of Zelda came out, it was only one rupee per shot of an arrow. Cool. And now we're doing five gold pieces. My wow. Well, they're silver. Uh, sil you talk about silver arrows, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure there was only the one, right? Like the arrow of light. I don't think you can recover uh, that ammo. Yeah, it, unfortunately, the side effect of guns is that they kind of ruin their ammo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're literally just shooting money out of your guns. <laughs> um, you need me to roll a uh, investigation? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um. Oh, nice. Fifteen. Yeah, the classic rule of thumb for recovering ammunition is you just roll like odd or even when you you find your ammunition, which you do, and then on a like on an odd, it's broken; on an even, it's not broken, kind of thing. Uh, but in the day and age of mending, as long as you had somebody with mending, you could just be like, "Please fix my arrow," uh, <laughs> and then it wouldn't it wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> Basically. Now here's the here's the caveat. Magical ammunition is always destroyed. So like magical crossbows that you know or crossbow bolts, for example, um they lose their enchantment upon being fired. Um yeah. So do I do I find the bolt but it's damaged? Well, no, I mean for each bolt that you're retrieving, uh you would just I'm roll just looking for one. Oh, okay, yeah. You just roll for it, and then if it's odd or even, uh, odd it's broken, even it's still it's still good. That's the easiest way to handle it. All right, so just roll well, like a, a d two. Any die that rolls uh, an e you know an even I'll number will be fine. Yep. I'll just roll a d twenty. Yeah. Yeah. So you find it. Uh, it is in good shape. It kind of skittered along the the ground there. Um, you retrieve it. You are right. out here in the courtyard uh, by your lonesome. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, <laughs> roll for initiative <laughs> no 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 you're fine you're fine Fight the court off. <laughs> well no i just like we, we've been killing whatever's been coming along so, well i i'm not gonna let that ammo go to waste if i can find it so i, mean, I sure. tried to talk to him once but uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's just not happening all right so i'm all gonna, right. I'm gonna yeah, go back to the pantry yeah are we going to deal with this other chest Oh, fuck. George, sure, yeah. I mean, you, you just said the magic word, so unless <laughs> someone beats him to it, Alvis is going to head over and be like, chest? Before we open the chest, I he am will give it a kick first, though. Going to try and listen, see if there's anything moving in the chest, like a weird fleshy fucking... Yeah, that's fair. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back into the corner and ready my hand. All right, give me a perception check. My head is right next to the chest. Yeah. Doing... 
Uh, it is eerily silent inside. There is no sloshing or anything. As you uh, as you listen more intently, uh, you uh, go to secret chat. Oh, okay. Uh, Have fun. Right. Off I go. I'll just wrong fucking Discord. Um. Oh God! What is with it today? People hurting one another. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying that seems to be the way the dice. If I did have to kick the chest, I bet I would kick Willow's face. Yeah, you probably would. <laughs> hey, Jenna, how are you doing today, dude? You gotta quiet. <laughs> Tired as fuck, man. Y you've been pulling all nighters before, today? Eh? Uh, no, I mean, I got like three hours of sleep. Uh, oh, still... That's still not quite enough. People I... Classic I WoW. I am on the High Warlord grind right now. Uh... Yeah. I got two weeks left. I, I, I did a very long session of Curse of Strahd last night. And I definitely did not get my normal amount of sleep. We went several hours over what our original plan was. And they still didn't need like, the damn temple. Well, it sounds like from your description that you guys took an awful long one. <laughs> uh, we did. We we probably like well between dinner and then like we started with lunch, and there was a bubble tea run, and then <laughs> and then dinner. Yeah, no, I, I, our host was just like, oh, uh, we're we're putting in an order for bubble tea. Who wants bubble tea? And we're like, what? <laughs> so we all had bubble tea. And, well, whatever uh, tried to possess Willow failed. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it was a it was a good session yesterday. Uh, my other session was talking about ICT and that. Must be an interesting one. I I would love to play in that one. That's actually uh, that's one I tried to to get in Which games one? in for a while. The Rise of Tiamat. After Skills War, man, I don't ever need to see Tiamat again. Name is it's me. You go, Willow. <laughs> so um, so here, here's the deal, right? Any uh deep, you know, a kind of monotone uh voice in your please let me know because uh. The grandfather is might might be trying to fuck with us. Why are we still here? Can we just burn this place to the ground and call it a day? It's no, kind of we're awful. trying it's... to save it. I mean, it's already yeah. haunted, though. Do you want to be somewhere that's haunted? Why? Do you open yes, the chest? Yes, but we need to find yes. the we, okay. we need to find the source of the ruins. What are there not supposed to be ruins on, underground? Willow, somewhere? as you open the chest, it is crammed. At least as far as you could tell, from top to bottom, with severed hands. <sighs> they are all clenched into fists, as if they are holding something. Ew. Well, uh, they're not trying to kill us yet, so... Bonus points. Um, um... Alvis is going to back up. And I don't suppose anyone here knows Mage Hand. Nope. nope. Like, you're, you're all a bunch of babies. Uh, Pietro's just gonna and pick up a hand and force it open to see what's in it. Yeah, you're yeah. trained in athletics. You're strong. You're level seven. Uh, you hear the crackling of um, cartilage and uh, tendons and bone. I don't, know, yeah, I don't know if there's cartilage in a human hand. Uh, of tendons and bone, as you kind of force the hand open, uh, it is holding a shiny silver piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's start opening all these up. Pietro's going to turn around and uh, holding the silver piece in one hand and the severed hand uh, in the other, and he's sort of going to use the hand to wave at all this and show the piece and say... 
my friend, if you want in on the treasure, perhaps you should uh, help out. Leaving the obvious horrible pun um, alone. And mm, he's just going to mm. toss the hand onto the uh, the cutting board there in the middle of the room. Okay. Uh, uh, Alvis would grin widely and say, well, I suppose I can the hand. All right. Uh, so do you, one by one, uh, pry open each hand? Yes. Okay. I will do that. <laughs> In total, there are 140 hands of various humanoid races eth- and uh, ethnicities. Um, each one is clutching one silver coin. So you get 140 mm-hmm. silver for what would probably be 30 or more minutes of work. Really? Everything really what? Can... That would take 30 minutes to pry that many hands No, open? I mean, uh, I mean, really, like, they're going to spend really, yeah, the, to uh, get 10 I mean, gold pieces. I mean... You just, you're just going to leave 14 gold? Uh, <laughs> just... Pietro's going to turn to Afra and say, Afra, many hands make light work. And he's going to oh, toss Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, as, as the hand gets close to Afra... What you get? <laughs> uh, it lands uh, the thing style... And begins to crawl towards her. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave the room. All right, gonna... it begins to it begins to scamper after her, like I slam the door in its face, like a pet tarantula. That's kind of cute. After I'm just gonna refer you to the video I posted in the. Uh, All right, do you close now. the door behind you? Yep. All right, as you get a significant distance away from it, you see that the hand fall over and just curl back up into a fist. Okay. <laughs> this would have saved us a whole lot of, a whole lot of trouble if we just tossed the entire god dead Zatter. <laughs> <laughs> She's ignoring you. You can't you probably can't hear me if you're... you're, you're uh, so you are out in the courtyard alone? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm keeping watch on, like, sure, yeah. smoking a pretend cigarette. I'm going to go to the lighthouse. <laughs> and, oh, uh, okay. I, I the guess door we'll opens. The, uh, 140 I mean, do you want to save uh, the lighthouse? Oh, 140 or, um... silver. Silver, excuse me, yeah. silver. That was that was after his disgust, was that it was silver pieces. Literally. Money is money. <laughs> do we want to um, save the lighthouse for next? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, we're, we're over. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're at time. Yeah, I'm just walking over. <laughs> okay. Fair also, enough. are all of those books and scrolls? Uh, I mean, they took a maximized fireball, but you could certainly go back and check them uh, next week to see if anything survived. <laughs> yeah, I fucking vaporized everything in that room that wasn't immune. And there was well, a reason I left that room be. <laughs> well, you may not appreciate or value books and scrolls. Some of us do. I never said I don't. It's just um. Now there are. You're right. There you are... never said you don't. You just fired a fucking fireball in there. Yeah. Now there are <laughs> jars over here of uh, spices, seasonings, um, dry goods. Uh, there's a few like glass jars filled with like pickled, you know, parts. I guess. Hmm. Um, I don't know if you have an interest in that or if you trust that enough to to loot it, but uh, um, you could add spooky, in there? spooky kitchen uh, stuff to it. What are you asking for? Kate, coffee. Oh, coffee. Ooh. Um, yeah, I guess I'm coffee, sure even it's... even haunted coffee, is worth it. Yeah. Uh, no yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, so you look around and you find uh, <laughs> you find a uh, jar. And it does look like it is full of case beans, and there is a grinder next to it. Hmm. In that uh, case, if no one objects, I'm going to take the grinder and the case beans. All right. Yeah. Easily, um, three pounds of case beans, which is a street value of 150 gold, because coffee is very expensive in Forgotten Realms. All right. I think on that note, as you guys have cleared the dangers of the lighthouse, question mark, um, <laughs> we will leave the exploration of it uh, for next week as you guys figure it out. Um, you guys have gotten some clues already, so you're certainly welcome via roleplay channel to banter those back and forth and, uh, you know, <laughs> compare notes. All right. So, 
Whew. All right. Uh, I hope I hope uh, Spooky Lighthouse was spooky without being too spooky. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll pick this up next week. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm sorry All for right. fireballing. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the last two sessions, I have both sharpshooter appointed or a teammate twice. So. <laughs> Yeah, Charlie and Willow both got the taste of sharpshooter. <laughs> That was, it was a crit, dude. <laughs> Quadruple. That was a big one. Like, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. 